word. Mm. <laughs> Y'all be playing. <laughs> Baby. Ain't better leave me alone. I've been working all day. Twelve hours. You ain't waiting to go live with y'all. And you already know where it was. Come here, baby. You don't gotta be scared. I'm talking about that because if you don't, I'm gonna. There you go. Hello, people, my people. Today, I'm having bologna and salami on wheat because that's my favorite bread. For my little chips, I mix these and these. If you never did it, do it. I like it. If you try, let me know. I didn't put these on the plate. Bologna on wheat. With some little juice. Cheers. Now I'm going to turn it into Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man burger. I'm going to turn it into the Spider Man. Ooh. This is Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. Don't leave me hungry. <laughs> I'm about to do that, my cousin. He said, let's just stand for black beef. <laughs> I heard it come down here and stand for black beef. I'll be silly. It's like I'll be silly, bro. What's up, he said? Hello, right? He'll be silly. Bark on the beat. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. So you if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can. Mm -hmm. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that Yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff, you can handle the light bill. Baby, you can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. I got $40. $40 today. And if you nasty, I throw in 60 If you nasty. I... Al Green.
Okay. I'm so in love with you. Oh, whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm talking about Tony. It's alright with me. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Cause you make me. Later. Never let me go. There's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. I tried, I forgot. I did. They said I sung better than everybody on here, so they ain't like me. You know, when people hate on you, they try to take everything from you. I'm going to leave the house because I'm coming over there to see your woman when you leave to go to work, Dad. Your woman loves this, baby. She say, hey, Lady Renee, come through here. Make sure your beard is nice and fluffy. I put some grease on that. Grease. Mm -hmm. And I go right over. Let's do it all day long, I want to see that. Because we about to go out there and do what they want. They give me my theme music! Give me my theme music! We told you we coming. We told you we coming. You thought we was joking. And guess what? We keep receipts. God bless you, America. Ooh, God is good. Get it on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Live, single by choices, brought to you by Carpet for the Horse Productions. It's Sunday night, Mr. Walker. How you feeling, brother? Yes, sir. I am feeling fan freaking tastic per usual. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, El Nug Nugs and Le Bon Quishas. Welcome to Cart Before the Horse Single by Choices in affiliation with the Bougie Negro Podcast. And also, as all you Negroes know, in association with Ain't No Fun Once the Rabbits Got the Gun Entertainment. What's going on with you this fine Sunday? In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? How y'all feeling out there tonight? We back in the building like we never left. Shout out to the Regal Rumble. That was a classic. 
Oh, the Regal Rumble hangovers. Oh, my goodness. Tell you what, man, listen here. That had to be, had to be one of the most educational Regal Rumbles thus far. Shoot, I think for like the last half hour, we was talking about dies. That was right up my alley. Where's a, uh, where's a uh, lamb? The black lamb at shoot. We was getting it too. That was dope. Yeah, a little bit of everything last night. Also, <laughs> it was a lot of uh, drizzle, drizzle, a little bit of sprinkling. <laughs> All right, but a little bit of everything. Folks, wild in the chat, you know, Leon King for usual. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are not subscribed make sure some of y'all right now don't know what we talking about that's fine i'm dropping a link in the chat right now to the cart before the horse channel that is our other youtube channel yes that's right we have two youtube channels cart before the horse productions single by choices so make sure y'all head over and subscribe and check out the content there you go straight like that jack yeah be wild yeah get Get hip and catch up to the Regal Rumble Madness. It's good stuff. I vouch for it. <laughs> Man, so with that being said, we're going to switch gears and we back to the Kendra Madness tonight. Um, shout out to Cousin Jamisa Walker. Come through with the channel membership. Appreciate you, Cousin Walker. Appreciate your sister. And El Paulino come through with a super sticker and a channel membership. <laughs> Shout out to the ever pleasant El Paulino package. Thank you, sister. Man, appreciate you, El Paulino. Hoping you all settled in, ready for the show. <laughs> and the team leader come through with a channel membership as well. Appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Also, Ash Rogers donating. Come through the super sticker or super appreciate, chat. Appreciate you, brother Ash. Also. <laughs> Shout out to brother Andre. I want to say this is Dre the Dream in the chat. He come through with $10 in the cash app. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! There we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just supporting his interest. There we go. Appreciate you. And also... Money, 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 money. Shout out to Mick. Mick come through with $3 in the cash app. We appreciate you, Mick. Says, what's up, SBC Nation? We moving, man. You know what we doing. <laughs> yes. So, here we go. Shout out to Rachai Media. Come through with the $15 super chat. Says, good evening, Gavin X, Mr. Walker, and the single by choice chat. We moving, man. Appreciate you, Rachai. All right, we're going to get started here. Hold on to y'all seatbelts. We'll see what tonight goes. We'll see. I, I tell you what, last single by choices, we had an overload of big backs. It was a... Uh, it was quite fantastic. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm fond of the big backs because the big back clan and the bigamous backamous, they come in with so much venom. Like, and we talked about this last night at the Regal Rumble. People not being the messengers for the message being delivered. And the big backbone quishas are the most egregious. <laughs> so with that being said, we might start off with one. And we was telling y'all last night also about Kendra deleting that live stream still. She ain't put it back up yet. So mm, yes, the, the evidence messy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Says Kendra had a live stream Friday. Oh, here we go. And deleted it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That part. So hey, wasn't me. Never happened. What you talking about? <laughs> she has since uploaded like a clip from like a clip or two from the stream, but the stream itself. Like the mm. chat, the chat was brazy. People were super chatting, they're all kind of crazy stuff. I can they imagine. was on Kendra top that night. I ain't gonna hold you. Kendra yeah. was under attack. She she was well, well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't the show and keep her cool while she, they was mm. on her. Was on it it was blood in the water, and it was shark week. It was one no getting out of that. Yeah, they weren't gonna stop till one nothing but a, a bone. We know he clapped them cheeks, quit lying. See? First we start off lying. Man, I gotta see if I can find it. I want to say the girl was on there. Oh, she God. she ain't gonna upload that clip back again. And the girl was on there talking to her. And like I said, the DoorDash guy lady came out to hand her her bag. She's sitting outside waiting for the order. And she asked the person at the restaurant, like, "Hey, you know Kendra G?" And the person says, "Yeah, she used to sleep with my cousin." And Ken, it's, the girl was like, "Oh snap!" And Kendra's like, "What she say?" Kendra said, "Who your cousin?" 
and she said something like Jason. And immediately Kendra was like, oh no, 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 no. It was a whole deal. And Kendra said, no, I don't know him. I don't know no Jason. I don't know no Jason. And it kept going, right? Next thing you know, this brother pops up in the chat. They like, stop lying, Kendra. He got pictures of y'all together on his eyes on his Facebook. And that's, see, that's uh, that's weird. Like now it is what it is. All right, but that's that's weird of a guy to be up there doing all that. But nevertheless, that's so weird. This is him here. This is the picture he put up on Facebook. Oh, mercy me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Boom, so Wait, this what? is the guy that claimed Kendra said she never slept with him. They they dated, quote unquote, but she said she said she never slept with him, so she does not count this man as even a relationship. She said she don't count it. Well, uh, listen, listen here, listen here. She with all today, listen, women talking about they actually getting their cheeks clapped, and they said it don't count if he had a hub on or if they didn't like it. So she they didn't, yeah, I'm buying that. They never, she's, they never did nothing sexually. Then what? So that's what was from it? 2020. They dated back in 2020. He still got these pictures up on his Facebook today. And Kendra said he shouldn't even have them pictures up. She was snapping. She said, he know. She said, he know. He shouldn't even have them pictures up. But that's a whole nother story. Kendra said, yeah. Kendra, like, she gonna call her lawyer. It was a whole deal. So she took it down. I don't know if it's up legally between them two or what. And But the girl said, stop lying. The girl was in the back snapping. Kendra said, I don't know your uncle. The girl said, stop lying. Stop lying. Y'all used to sleep together, Kendra said. It was a whole deal. Uh, that's just that's so weird. happened that this woman, not the girl that was on the show, this was a woman yeah. that was just interacting with. And she said, Do you ever watch this Kendra G lady before? She said, Yeah, I know her. She used to sleep with my uncle. What's the odds of that? So I'm listen here, man. I'm claiming conspiracy, man. <laughs> Something like you said, what's the odds of that? And I don't know. I know I guess it's a hell of a coincidence. Like I said, Kendra picking these people at random. That's so true. Listen, keep your head on the swivel out here on Beyonce's internet. So, because like, the net of it, she started off by saying, I don't know no Jason, she lying. Then they start pressing her. Then it went from, I don't know him to, okay, I do know him, but I've never slept with him. So, and I that, don't even count him and I don't even remember him. She started, and that, that. Yeah. yeah, and that was the blood in the water. So, when she said, okay, I do remember him, but blood. <laughs> that was because they was like, hold on, Kendra. There's pictures, quote unquote. And <laughs> at that point, she was like, Okay, y'all got me, but he didn't get nothing as cool So mm, mm, mm. holy guacamole. Here we go. All oh, oh, all's fair in, in love and war, huh? That's wicked. That's yeah. Come on, brother. Take them pictures down. Like, for what? Like, why would I don't get it? I'm lost as to why somebody would have those pictures up. You a dude, y'all ain't together. She got a whole man, and you still got these pictures. That that's that's definitely feminine. I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. So that's that. That's the net net of it. But we'll see if we can learn more as the days go on. Maybe we can get that video. It was hot, hot fire. Man, 2024 gonna be wild. I see, huh? Y'all better, y'all crazy. Shout out to all the married couples. They gotta deal with this madness. <laughs> uh-huh. And shout out to King Confidence. He says, support the content for single by choices. STC for SBC. Appreciate you, brother. King Confidence. And shout out to Cole Sounds. They come through with the ten dollars in the super chat. Says, greeting Earthlings. Expect to hear fire show tonight. Something in the air. Drizzle, drizzle, maybe. He says, tell me it's going to be cold and rainy one. Possibly rainstorms and snowstorms. <laughs> and, and an extremely strong chance of drizzles. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah! Boom, All right. Shout out to be white. He says, remember the brother on the bus that knew her? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's wild. Like, Kendra been hosting the show all these years, and now this stuff is coming out, which is wild. Right, you would think people would have been came out years ago. This is almost like Bill Cosby or something, you know what I mean? Man, (laughs) yeah, man, right in the midst of Kendra locking down her Nigerian prince, driving Rolls Royces. Come on, man, like that's it's a little wicked. Like, come on, let let Kendra live. That's that's at the same time, if she's lying, Kendra need to come clean at the very end. 
Yeah, tell the truth. She and the devil don't ever get that misunderstood. And also at the same time, none of these guys have ever claimed to slept with Kendra. So go. these guys pop up, but even they, no man's ever said out his mouth, I've slept with Kendra. We've never heard it. They don't claim. She said she never slept with these men, and they say they, they don't ever claim to have slept with her. Ooh, can you get him saying that non disclosure? There we go. There we go. Kuda Cat and non disclosures all 2024. What we'll say ye? That's what it's going to be. Oh my goodness. That's going to be the loophole in the 4B movement. Bone Quish is going to be walking around with legit <laughs> uh, Kuda Cat and non disclosure. So like, let's say, hey, I'm going to give you this Kuda Cat because I got to. But you bet not tell nobody sign here. And look, nothing gonna sign. <laughs> and that's funny because she was saying that about the guy the other night. She like she bit her tongue. She was talking, she's like, but he knows he's not supposed to have them pictures up. She was like, legally. She, you know, she went down that line. She said something about it. Like mm -hmm. he like she got some mm -hmm. kind of restraining order on her, but I don't know. But yep. <laughs> <laughs> Child squeegee kid. He said, Kendra is her callers. Ooh, bing, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Richard Media. He says, I never had sexual relations with that woman, said Bill Cosby or mm -hmm. Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. He just got got got. Maybe Kendra, maybe they was munches. Who knows? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> just, yeah. I could, I could see that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money. All right. Shout out to EJ Uno. Says Kendra told her new man that guy didn't hit. That's the problem. Well, huh, God dang it. This is sick. This is why this is why dating is dumb. All right. This is why. Look, look what's happening. All this dating. Huh. <laughs> and shout out to King Confidence Come Back. Says shout out to Chris Brown. Light skinned brothers are up. Yeah, I keep hearing about that. I guess uh, Chris Brown is punk. Yeah, everybody got diss tracks right now. It's a lot going on in hip hop. A lot of brothers dissing. You know, I hope they just try to get album sales up and this ain't, you know, because we don't like to see brothers beefing like, you know what I mean? Yeah, for real. Yeah, y'all keep playing with Chris Brown's crazy stuff because he likes skin. Chris Brown, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that part. So shout out to Frederick Howard. He says, HQ went from a snack to a chicken bone. All women are born in the boneyard, straight like that. <laughs> Golly, I ain't Y'all was going to eat the queen's top last night, calling her snacks and delicious tender morsels. Y'all horned up. <laughs> yeah, my man TJ was trying to jump in there. All that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the TJ up here trying to send weenie pics. Come on, TJ. <laughs> Everybody in the chat looking at Heathen Queen like no bread, no water, just meat. Hey, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, Heathen Queen did a kid you care like three, four times. Y'all the wicked out of pocket. All right. And shout out to Divine Photos says get the Mori Lie Detector for Kendra. Yeah. There we go. That'd be a heck of a show. Heck of a show. <laughs> <laughs> And Joker Nutty Nate says, good evening, Single by Choice Nation. Hit the like button. Good evening, Mr. Gully. How you feeling tonight, brother? We got a full show lined up, so hit the like button. We're getting right into it. $40 skips. Here we go. Mm, Broadback. Mr. Brown, say, so I'm going to give you the whole name. Crystal Brown, what city are you calling me from? I'm from Chicago. Crystal Brown, Chicago. How old are you? 47. Okay, 47. What you do for a living? Um, I work with people with disabilities. Okay, work with people with disabilities. You have any children? I have two. How old are your two kids? 19 and 15. Okay, both, both by the same man? No. No, have two. you been married? No. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Taurus. When's your birthday? May 13th. Oh, okay. Is it Taurus season yet? Saturday? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, well, it's towards the end to me. All right, we got Crystal, Chicago, 47 Taurus, works with disability children, or well, disability people? Yes. Mine two kids, five, two men, never married. What kind of man you looking for, girl? I know this is gonna sound cliche, but I want somebody like my daddy. Ooh, okay, but well, what characteristics did your daddy have? Hardworking, provider. Um, family man, 
my mom now, my mom works, but she had the option not to work. But she worked and she instilled in us that don't let a man control you by money. So she worked. My dad still provided, but she had her own money. Okay. So you want to work. You want a man that provides, but you still want to work. Most definitely will want to work. Okay. And hell to the now. To the now, now, now. Hell to the now. What's wrong, Mr. Walker? <laughs> they need to relax. <laughs> you just want a man like her, Paul. Huh? They need to freaking relax. I just relax, Auntie. You come here 47, two for two, just... Just all gas. Rel relax. What you want? I'm a hard working man. You 50 years old. <laughs> I just seriously. We, we talked about this last night. Shout out to Heath the Queen. Y'all say what y'all want. These sisters, we know who she about to describe. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like we you know so we can see into the goddamn on future at this point. We know where it's about to go. If y'all think she's about to ask for a guy, ask for more for less. Making less than fifty thousand dollars, y'all smoking with the cigarettes. Y'all see that fake Louis Vuitton little purse bag she got right there? Come on, man, let her do, let her do what she gonna do. She fat, she half a hundo. Talking about she want a hard working man like your daddy. Would your daddy want you? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Was your mama two for two? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> and fifty when your daddy met her. There we go. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else before we go to your deal breakers? Um. I want um I want him to be my best friend. So I'm I'm an easygoing person, but I do have a bit of an attitude, right? So I want a man that can reel that attitude in. Because I can, you know, run off at the mouth. I want him to tell me to shut up sometimes. Shut up. Sometimes, you know what I mean? And I can shut up. I can shut up. <laughs> Uh, she want a man that can tell her to shut up at times. Okay. Now, what are your deal breakers? Um, no job. Um, I don't have men around my kids. So if I do decide to come around me, I'll have to know that you're serious. So you, so you'll be able to be around my kids. My kids have not been around anybody. Just you know, you have your flings and stuff, right? But my kids have never met anybody. So I want somebody serious enough that I can bring around my kids and my kids can learn something from them or just, you know, for them to show how a woman is to be treated, if that makes sense. It does. Okay. So, so, and since you had your children, you never met a man serious enough to introduce to your children. So the last time I was in a relationship was 2018. Okay. So that guy, that guy didn't meet your kids. That was my son's father. Oh, your son's father. Okay, well, shoot, he helped he help, he help you make the kid. <laughs> That's All right. Any other deal breakers? Um, no job, not family oriented, and no, no passion. No passion. Okay. So you look a certain way. I like, I like a little good. Something, cause I'm a I'm a nice ass woman, so I don't want nothing little, but I don't want nothing too big. I want something I can hold on to, if that makes sense. Okay, not too big, not too small. So I'm you know, five, I'm five ten, so five ten, and a you know five ten. Five, five ten, okay, five ten. Um, what about money? She make a certain amount of money. So because I don't have no money to give, I don't have no money that <laughs> I don't. I can't help nobody, right? Can't help you do nothing. Yeah, you're gonna have to. I'm not giving no um, certain amount of money, but you have to be stable. Okay. Car, rent. You know what I'm. It makes it better if we wanted to merge together. Mm -hmm. You have something to bring to the table. Okay. This woman almost six foot tall. Mm -hmm. I can just, I can picture her now. This is undesirable. She gonna say I'm nice size. When did nice become derogatory? The word nice. I, I don't. We talk about nice. You can go anywhere in the world. That's a that's a good thing. And then, that that was new hoodoo. Nice size. What did we get last night? I'm a full full figure. I don't know if it was last night, but full figured. 
you know, full size, plus size, voluptuous. Now I'm a nice size. Like nice size for a, for a defense alignment. You know what I'm saying? Nice size for offensive guard. Like get more specific, Auntie. You need to relax. You have a hundo talking about you want a hard worker man that's gonna come in here and be a good father figure to your two bastard children. Like y'all really need to keep letting that just echo through the empty walls of y'all skull. Like, I want a man to come and be a good father figure to my kids, and they daddy ain't even being no father figure. I don't I don't know. It just sounds weird to me. That part. And shout out to Pharaoh's Kingdom. He says, Cat Williams done set 2024 20, off. No one is safe. At all. <laughs> shout out to Frederick Howard. Says, Bonquisha, Young Thug is over. I want to see this Kendra cam. I know she built one of the wonkiest. Yeah, that part. <laughs> and shout out to Divine Photos. He says, she 40, acting like a teenager. She need to grow. That's the average melanated sister. She 50, Divine Photos. Got to correct you there. She oh, 50. yeah, that part. She 50. 50. Yeah, you showing her grace and mercy. With too much grace. <laughs> <laughs> that lady J says, auntie talking like she 21. No, that's true. <laughs> Divine Photos says, she want a man like her dad, mean her dad ain't ish. Uh okay. Were well, you reversing it? I see. Cause she deserve an ain't ish man. Roger that. <laughs> yeah. So ain't person gonna go in here. Shout out to Pharaoh's Kingdom says she can't even pay for a meal, much less pay tribute to a man she would appreciate. This is a bad deal. Pass. I want to hear her minimum amount. Please, Kendra, get it out of her. Don't let her get past this, please. She's gonna say as long as you can pay rent. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> Here we go. You making it clear you ain't got no money to give. I don't, I don't have anything. That's so crazy. I don't got nothing. <laughs> Let's do the kitchen kid. Okay, hold on. Let me set this up. So I'm at work, okay? So just try to get the picture, okay? Okay, you got work. Okay. Oh, you got you got thunder thighs. That's me, Kendra. Ah, uh, hold on. Try to get the picture, okay? Okay, you get it. That work. Okay. Oh, you got you got thunder. She uh, five uh, foot ten. She five foot ten. She huh? She all of what? What's what? <laughs> That's a big old auntie. Yeah, That's big. She's two sixty. Hell. Yeah, God, dog. <laughs> That's big auntie. It's big auntie right here. Thunder thighs. Them 50-year-old old biscuits. Yeah, ain't ain't nothing. No juice, y'all. Know the motto. No juice. Ain't no juice left. No pulp. You might get a seat or two and some wrinkled skin. Could have a head hit. <laughs> and one thing we know. Love that chicken from Popeye's. That would... One day, Gavin gonna play that wicked tune, and and Bonquisha gonna turn the camera, and it's gonna be pop past paraphernalia off in the corner, and I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> the thighs. That's me, Kendra. I see them thighs, girl. Got them from my mama. Woo! Got them from my mama. Okay, so you already told me your last relationship was 2018, right? Mm -hmm. So when was the last time you was intimate? You don't got an answer. Yeah, you know I ain't saying nothing. I don't got nothing to say. Nasty. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Um, completing tasks. I'm very impatient, and I need to take more better care of myself. More better Do care. For mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm fun. I get it. I'm down to earth. Um, I love to love. It's crazy. Like, I love to love people. They don't love me back. Stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> what you mean they don't love you back? Like, you know how I can deal with people until I see them. And then when I see them, I'm wrong for not dealing with them. But you showed me yourself already. So 
I'm not dealing. And I know how, now I know how to back back from situations like that. Because before I was still pursuing the situation knowing that you don't care. But now I know how to scale back. And I can fall back. You can fall back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. All right, so let's do it. Crystal, okay, you're 47. What's the age range you would date? I would do 40, 40 to 52. 40 to 52. Mm -hmm. And could he have kids? Of course. Um, no young kids, though. Okay, hold on real quick. Thunder Thighs, someone said Thunder Thighs, KG. That was actually my nickname when I was a child, so I wasn't saying it as an insult. That was, I oh, was, yes. Kendra, listen, that don't bother me. I've been, they've been doing that my whole life. Yeah, yeah that I used to be Thunder Thighs. I didn't know that, that's not an insult if I say it. I didn't take it as one. Okay, because one of the cousins did. What's your sensitive ass? It is what it is. Shoot. You probably got, you probably got earthquake thighs. That's why you was mad. Now, earthquake thighs ain't a compliment. <laughs> See that? Hell! So we ain't never up, don't ever come up here talking about us calling people big bags and blowed out. Even Kendra, even Kendra Mucho, everybody throw jabs at y'all. Y'all can yeah. go. <laughs> go Kendra call her earthquake. Earthquake. <laughs> earthquake. earthquake. So oh, you got earth. thunder thighs, you got earthquake thighs. Or... <laughs> That's not nice, Kendra. Auntie need to chill. Auntie can't pre Oh, gas. Uh, what? <laughs> she ain't, she can't be too vague. This, I tell you what, I know this woman. I've come across her in my, in my life. She's a skilled auntie. All she did was one fish, two fishes uh, to sleep. That's it. She didn't give us nothing. I'm, oh, I'm irritated. This woman gave us nothing. She said, oh, I just got to be able to pay his rent. Uh, and all oh, she did give us something. She said she wanted a guy that's 40. You tripping. You they hear that? That that alone. This auntie 50 years old talking about she'd take a guy that's 40? 40. I'm 38. Got him 30, 37. Come, auntie. Yeah, it's over. What are we doing? Sub? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give her five more seconds. It's over. Back to you, girl. Should have got me in Chicago? have to be okay all right let's do it we got crystal chicago 47 a tourist she works with people with disabilities mine two kids never married she wants a man that can tell her to shut up at times and she will yeah. shut up not too many times oh, no. No, i mean you, he you don't want that said it? no i'm saying he could tell me but i don't want you know i want to get the i want to get the gist in one shut up i don't want it to be like five or six shut up you, you get shut what up saying? Yeah, Tell you, got me. One, you got a one shot up um, limit for the relationship. That's it. That's it. I, but I'm working on that. That may be a flaw. Maybe I need to take three or four shut ups. So that's probably a flaw. flaw so <laughs> you a flaw. Um, so day 40 to 52. She ain't got no money to give. So come with something because she ain't got she don't got no twenty dollars on the gas. She don't got nothing. I don't even get no link, so I don't got nothing. How can we reach out to you, Crystal? Um, Facebook. Okay, give me your um, Facebook page. Just Crystal Brown. Crystal Brown Facebook. All right, baby, you keep me posted how it goes. Oh, here we go. She gonna attract nothing more, nothing less than a couch Negro. I can see him. We know who he is. So, uh, absolute best. It's unfortunate. She ain't got no bread, no resources. Her words. She don't qualify for no uh, green card bay. Sheesh. Just a funky nug nug. That's hard up. This is desperate as her. Holy cow. It's, mm, mm, unfortunate. All you guess is a nug nug at best. Understand something. Not nug nug at worst. At least a nug nug. Like if she wake up one day and Nug Nug is outside her door with his uh his all his belongings on the end of a stick and a handkerchief, that is a glorious day for her. She need to have a praise break. That's what we mean by at best. <laughs> That's in real life, but up here on Single by Choices, at, she get the Godfather at best. At best. At best. Or the, or get kicked in a bottomless pit at worst. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Mm. 
See, uh, what's that? Raz says, some women deserve nug nug. No, no one deserves anybody. Some women have earned nug nug. You see, you only get what you earn. That's all. They earned that. Earned them. They begged for them. <laughs> that part. So, and it's most unfortunate. <laughs> Shout out to Pharaoh's Kingdom. He said she got that truck driver built. Mm -hmm. Well, man, Tony said, he said, all leg extensions, no squats. <laughs> oh, my God. And that lady, Jay, says, big old stud vibes. Big six, big 5'10". She'll, she'll slide on the ops. <laughs> yeah, I'd be surprised more sisters don't just, you know, start scissoring timbers. It's over when it comes to men. Yeah. They don't, they don't, don't count them out yet. It's never too late. It's never too late to scissor. <laughs> And now they're putting out them life-size, you know, teddy bears and stuff and all this wild stuff going on. So they're just a bunch of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ash Rogers. Says she's a late night snack for Nug Nug. Mm, yes. Yeah, Nug Nug just creep away and you'll never know where he go. That's a shame. Nug Nug keep her secret sometimes. She one of them. And shout out to Frederick Howard says, this is why men's standards need to stay moral. He says, Harachitang hyenas for 1,000, Alex. <laughs> if I ever seen that on Jeopardy, Alex. <laughs> what is a Harachitang, Alex? <laughs> uh -huh. Harachitang. That's wild work. It is. <laughs> so here we go. Ratchet. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Because if y'all think Harachitang is wild work. Hey, uh lady coming in asking for help that's even more wild yeah oh my yeah get y'all lives together yeah y'all don't want us to call for help in butter soup mm -hmm. somebody gonna try to say oh that's matzo ball soup it may be but over here's <laughs> butter soup <laughs> uh, saying, i'll say this nonetheless yeah butter soup so we got what 160 likes and over 430 people in here egregious y'all like butter soup i see keep it up Keep it up. Y'all know the rules. So here we go. Hit the like button. We're going to get into this next one. Hopefully, hopefully the likes be up by the next time we look. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> here we go. Come with your mess, Monique. I love <laughs> Monique full of ish. Here we go. Uh, yeah and no, but hell, it's, it is what it is. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's your name, baby? Renee. Hey, where you calling me from? North Carolina. North Carolina. How old are you? I'm 37. 37. What you do for a living? I work in a warehouse. Warehouse. You have any kids? I have two children. Two kids. Renee, North Carolina, 37 warehouse, two kids. How old are your kids? Uh, my son is 15. My daughter is nine. Okay. Well, by the same man? No. Okay, two men. Hey, you ever been married? No. Okay. And um, I think I what's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's do it. We got Renee, North Carolina, two kids, fifteen and nine, by two men, never married, works at a warehouse, thirty-seven is a Capricorn. What kind of man you looking for now, girl? Uh, an honest one. Uh, trustworthy. Doesn't mind that I have children. Can take care of themselves. Mm, that's really it. That's the main thing. Okay. Don't be no liar either. I don't have baby daddy drama, so I'm not expecting baby mama don't, drama. Don't be the liar. No, no baby daddy drama for her. So here we go. Hell. For some reason, I feel like I want to plug the Nintendo up and play Donkey Kong. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but. Here we are, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Listen, holy guacamole. This post sister here. She the poster child for Roll Hard Put Away Wet. I.e. all my life I had to fight. 37? Sheesh. Ladies, please take note. You can't let Nug Nug just wear you completely out. But by, by 37, you come prepared to give in. Do y'all not understand some of the late nights that she done spent with Nug Nug? Look at her face. That's completely exasperated. Ain't nothing left. Nothing. That's a drained vessel. 
this is extremely unfortunate. Ain't nothing here. I don't care what she say. Look at her. She telling you the situation with her facial expression. What they say that uh, like 70% of communication is nonverbal. She ain't got to say nothing. Just look at her. <laughs> there we go. We're going to let her cook. <laughs> okay. What are your deal breakers besides baby daddy drama, baby mama drama, or baby mama drama? Liars. That kind of go hand in hand. If you got baby mama drama, usually the lies and all that stuff come, they go hand in hand. So if you could be honest, because I'm a very transparent person, I'm expecting them to be the same. Okay. Um, what about look? Should he look a certain way? No. Just just make sure you wash yourself, clean, groom yourself well, because at 37. You don't know how to take care of yourself. That's a problem. So at least be able to take care of yourself. Make sure you can take you a good bath every now and again, every day, if possible. Because you know, times is hard right now. So take you a bath every day. Every day. And if you don't, as you can see, I have one. I have a bathroom with soap and water and all that good stuff. Oh. I do. <laughs> so no, you don't get it. Here we are. I love that. I don't care if you got soap and water. The man you attract, a man got to be ambitious enough to want to wash his hiney. You are, these men don't want to put skin to water. Like some men don't even want to do it. They like, I don't, I don't care if you got soap and warm water and all. I don't want to get in there. They don't. So. <laughs> and they don't want to get. In. What? Trying to wash cats? Yeah. This yeah. Is She's let no, I'm gonna take what she said first. She said, at least get in the tub a nine again. Y'all some funky mamma jammas. That is funky. That's grown folk funk. Like y'all ain't kids. Let me walk around here. Come on, man. And so what she gonna bathe? She gonna bathe a uh, nug nug. Tell me I got a tub, water, and soap. She said that's so proud. Well, hold up. We're not gonna act like that wasn't disturbing. She said she got soap and water in the tub as if like like yeah i got this new bentley back here like sister like this is a first world country that i'm that ish comes standard dang there in every household i would have to imagine dang dang near every household that let you paint a picture of this man that she deals with i'm trying they they tell them they sales yes they do yeah some y'all at the chat y'all ain't got no manners some of these super chats is evil <laughs> i see them <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to my guy Eric in the cash app. All right, he come with the $10. He says, Shorty look like all my life I had to fight. All her life. She ain't got to talk. She got that thing where she opened her mouth. It looked like she ain't got no bottom teeth and stuff. It's unfortunate. Well, some of these people look like, not only do they look like all my life I had to fight, they look like they know once they get to the afterlife, they're gonna have to continue to fight. They already yeah. got they already know. So they down here fighting and they already know, like Sherlock Holmes. They like, and once I get to the afterlife, I'm gonna have to keep fighting. So. No rest, no rest for the wicked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bonquisha. Even in afterlife, you must fight. Nay, they gave her lifetimes too. Enjoy. So. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to Divine Photo says, Alex, what is she smoking? What he says, what is she smoking? Newport 200 for 200? Uh, <laughs> something high, methyl. All right. Ooh, they hit new. Yeah, they can't afford Newports. Like, don't too many folks smoke Newports no more. They too broke. They just. You right. You know what's crazy? I didn't see more and more smokers rolling their own cigarettes. No filter. Just straight to backy, straight to the throat. <laughs> so yeah, they they smoking black and miles, you know, all that. Shout out to Freddie Howard says Bonquisha Droopy Dog. Yeah. <laughs> and Richa says she has a mustache. <laughs> this is so yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to that lady J says, Oh baby, you got what I need. Biz Marquee. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Biz Marquee. Ladies, if anybody, anybody, man, beast, baby child, referred to you as Biz Marquee, 
you know, picking boogers, Mr. Picking Boogers himself, it is over for you. Yeah, rest <laughs> in peace. Rest in peace, yeah, Biz. Indeed, but yeah, indeed. no thanks. Indeed. All right. Shout out to Tony. Tony says, looking for a man with the yellow yellow hat caution, George F. <laughs> Give me a George. Oh, y'all keep calling her. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just bad. Shout out. That's what I say. You just got to be subliminal. You can't just, you know, read between the lines. Y'all know what Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that lady J says if Miss Marquis and Steel from Juice had a daughter. Who made y'all like this? That's I mean, y'all won't answer my question. Who made y'all like this? <laughs> That's all I want. And it looks like it's over though. That ain't nothing but mercy. That ain't nothing but mercy. Tender mercy. Sweet mercy. <laughs> And shout out to Bizzle T Productions with the forty dollars skip. Says, can you imagine her O F face? He said her O face when she. Oh F'd. yeah, her yeah, her hunching face. Her uh -huh. yeah, yeah. No, some see. I don't do that because my stomach start hurting. No, 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 no. Can't, can't. Nope. I'm hoping y'all putting bags over heads. All right. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is back shot, Shorty. Yeah, you. What you doing? Not either. I ain't, I ain't not doing either. this. I ain't doing this. I'm not going down this dark road with y'all. Yeah, y'all are back shots. Y'all don't know what that smell like. So you see your style. I ain't doing this. I can't because I can't do that. Yeah. So he says me. Either. He says get Wheezy Jefferson out of here. Skip. Thank you. Mercy. Appreciate you for your mercy. <laughs> do y'all want to see the Kendra Cam? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Is she? Oh, she. Here we go. I said I was nervous. You gotta hold it down some, some more. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I gotta see your legs. Talk, 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 baby more, girl, to play the camera time. Okay. okay, there you go. All right. Okay. That's dog. <laughs> That's dog ish. That's like somebody take a poop on your yard. You come out in the morning. It's a big piece of. Like, why don't y'all pick that up and put it in the bag and dispose of it? Why you leave this on my yard? That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> this is low hanging fruit. I just I don't even want to touch it. Ain't no need to touch it. <laughs> like y'all see what y'all see. Look at that there. Look at that. That's she 37. She 37. Again, I'm gonna keep we gotta get context. She our this, age. We graduated high school with this woman. This is this our, is our classmate. Yeah. Damn, I know one. <laughs> Yeah, this is bad. That's why sometimes, like real talk, sometimes I'll be having a hard time realizing how old I am because I'd be looking at our peers and stuff, and I'd be feeling like I'm still in my 20s sometimes. Ooh, you know? Thank God we don't look like what we've been through because she looked like what she been through, and she been through the ringer. You got to do better, man. Look at that, 37. She younger than me. Ah, no, no. So this is bad. Oh, that's so freaking terrible. Here's you listen here. I didn't had it with this. Ain't no way heck you supposed to be blow completely out like this. 37. She 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 built she that's that's 70, 80. And like seriously, and I and that, I ain't even excusing that. Cause come on, man. Yeah, shoot, my father law about 70 something. He don't look like that. <laughs> Like I'm, y'all gotta do better. Y'all gotta eat better. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's over. Kick her down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So shout out to Bizzle T Productions. He come through with the skip. We appreciate you, brother. Mr. Walker said, throw her down the hole. So it's over for her, folks. Yeah, sure. What else you gonna do? <laughs> My fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. 
You sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. <laughs> mm. Listen, 37 years old, that was one of the worst displays. And take that individual sister out of it. Any woman that come here giving a display like that, a presentation of that caliber. <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to get stomped out by the date market. They don't, they don't care. They don't care that all your life you had to fight. They just want to see what you look like today. And that that presentation gets an F. Um, it's an F. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make some points. That's an F. You fail. Fail. And shout out to Skitty Boy. He says, all right, fellas, begging the stallion or Don Keisha Kong? Begging. That last contestant, she really need to look in the mirror and get herself figured out because nothing desirable. And shout out to that lady, Jay, says, built like a hot pocket with clothes. <laughs> like the generic, the great value hot pockets, whatever them is. <laughs> she built like the hot pocket when you leave it in the microwave too long and it start busting open and spilling open. Y'all know, you ain't never put a hot pocket in. Y'all know when they just start busting out mm -hmm. the seams. I'm yeah. proud to say I can't, I don't even remember what a, a hot pocket tastes like. I can't tell you. I'd be damned. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Shout out to T. He says, I want my 40 back. I skipped for a reason. Ken <laughs> <laughs> was atrocious. It was. We all we apologize, folks. <laughs> and he said, I tried to stop that. No, we had to eat that. That's all right. We paying for it. We we regret it. Mm. And shout out to Jay Gray says she built like an anime donkey or anime. Do <laughs> he guard. And yeah, see, she did do like crap. So yeah. Dookie. Yeah. Do better, folks. Shout uh -huh. out to Theo too. <laughs> money, 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 money. Shout out to my guy G Honda in the building. Says people asking me if I still hoop. Nah, man. I'm 38. Just a cent of water. A banana, strawberry, sea moss, and yes, Mr. Walker has sent you over everything. No, dear Park, I seen you and Team Peterson talking about sent you. Y'all been had. Y'all done. Y'all, y'all, y'all been sold by marketing. Congratulations. No, dear Park is the move. Good old yeah, natural yeah. spring water. But as long as you drink your water, like you said, glory. All right, Deion yeah. been sold. He think he like like. Oh, this is an apple. Yeah, it's an Apple phone. No, <laughs> it's, it's just water, Ninja. You've been sold. Oh, oh. <laughs> Shout out to G Honda. So here we go. That was rough. We starting off the show rough. The day market tis what it tis. That that took the wind out of my sails, man. Because I, if y'all don't know by now, I don't like stomping folks completely out to where ain't nothing left. But golly, that sister there didn't leave. It just was so bad. Like she was like un extremely undesirable. Like Gavin said, that's our classmate. I could go find her back in our hometown. I can do it. And I'm telling easy. you, he is too easy. <laughs> yeah, we coming up on our 20 year high school reunion. So that ought to be interesting. Hello, man. That's crazy. All right, it ain't gonna be many folks. We're gonna it's only hell. I, yeah, I'm, I'm about it's to say only yeah. Be about 40 of us. Yeah, yeah, at best, yeah, for multiple <laughs> reasons. This is wicked. All right, listen here. I was probably safe to say, Mr. Walker Kevin X ain't gonna be in the tidbits. I share for what? There you go. <laughs> yeah, they got to cut the check. I, I, yeah, I did not like high school. Yeah, so, at all. <laughs> yeah, we had a 10 year reunion years back. We went to that was debauchery. So, did we go? I don't think I did. We go, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, in the park. Oh yeah. You see what I'm saying? So <laughs> you know, you be there. You be there just to document it. Y'all to be fun. That's, yeah. Oh glory. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Um. Here we go. Sheila. Sheila. Uh, and where you calling me from? Kissimmee, Florida. Florida, Kissimmee. Yes. Florida, what you do for a living? I am a two-year-old school teacher. Two-year-old school teacher? Is that like preschool? Yeah, preschool, basically. Do you have any kids yourself? Yes, one daughter. How old is your daughter? She's six. 
Six. Okay. Have you ever been married? No. Nope. No. Um, and what's the zodiac sign? Virgo. Virgo. And how old are you? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm 39. Okay. What's wrong with 39? It's just, you know, when you say it out loud, you know, you're pressing 40 and then right, we, right here. I'm in my 40s. It's the best years of my life. You look bomb, um, honey. I can't wait till I can get my face beat and a nice lace front like you got, Kendra. This is a beauty <laughs> supply store. You understand? Yeah. Huh? I can't see I was trying lace. to figure out if I had a lace or not. It is a lace. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. You got Sheila from Florida, two year old school teacher. Um, mom to a six year old, never married, 39 is a Virgo. What kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for somebody who is relaxed. You know, I could be a little hype, so I want somebody who is more stable mentally than me. Um, you know, not just mentally, but just down to earth, somebody who could be right there. So, yeah, I'm starting to not really care about looks as much as stability you know i know i'm getting up there i'd like my dad my dad myself to have someone that's like a father's figure to my daughter eventually so i am looking for like someone who's into the idea of a family a ready-made family with only one kid and she don't and ain't no child support issues the daddy ain't trying to get in there he ain't even met her yet uh, you know god forgive me it was a bad choice but i got a beautiful daughter and Wait, the child's father never met your child? No, no, unfortunately. Only on Facebook through a messaging what? conversation. Say I'm not why? even going to read the comments. Somebody screen recorded for me, though, but I can't read the comments because I don't want to upset myself. Okay. But no, she hasn't met her dad, but that means there's no drama. There's no baby daddy drama. It's nothing. It's just me, me and my well, why has why has she not met her dad? I mean, if we don't get honest, um, he was a substance. Is he Huh? Is he married? No, no, no. He was he was somebody who I ain't had no business laying down with, but I was at a low point in my life. And uh, you know, I got knocked up and I changed my life around. Okay, so you let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Alright. <laughs> now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. And she started off, she was gonna say he was a substance abuse. And Kendra stopped her and she was like, he just was somebody I should not have been with. And here we are. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> you muted, Mr. Walker. But yeah, here we are, man. She got the um hood with that wig. She was shifting the wig around and all. That was wild. Polo tink tink. The the hoodie over the wig is 100 percent egregious. Sick work. Black hoodie over the blonde wig. And I don't know who said it first in the chat, but you beat me to it. She she looked like she had come to your house and you better pat her down when she leave because she leaving with something. She going to steal something. She going to steal your remote control, something goofy, some of your perfume, you know, <laughs> the earrings you left up on top of the refrigerator. Yeah, she's stealing that. <laughs> so, here we are, man. She got this small kid. She's 40 years old. This is crazy. And then she going to go on to say her situation with her baby daddy is ideal because he ain't never met her. So ain't no drama. That welcome to 2024. Y'all y'all cause this. That's a relationship now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all good because the daddy ain't never met her. So, yeah, I'd say out of mind. So here we go. Shout out to Divine Photo. Says she got that Donald Trump to pay on. Mm hmm. She got that's the best to pay ever. Best ever. And Tony says, not Chuck Taylor, channel three from Dave Chappelle. Yeah! Oh, shakalaka! Oh, shoot! Oh, that's my man. Chuck oh. Taylor here. Oh. Reporting in these in the in the Negros neighborhood. <laughs> oh, it, man. Hey, Q, what it do? How you feeling tonight? Says she 15 years. She's 15 years old and one child too late for stability. <laughs> or 15 years. How old is her kid? Six? What did she say? Yeah. And she fifth, she 40. Four. I don't know. They said she's 15 four. years late. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she thought she 39. She pushing 40. You 40. And shout out to Demarcus in the cash app. 
He says, you get what you get, Bonquisha. He says, got a face only a mother can love. Oh, Satchmo face ass. <laughs> <laughs> Satchmo, oh Satchmo, y'all love going down to the deep dark south on these sisters. Oh, Satchmo, <laughs> I don't even know it half the time. I just be rolling with y'all. Here we go. As Roger said, she all in the medicine cabinet. Man, where them perks at, boy? <laughs> you know, so we part of the change in the life around was moving out of certain environments. So, so does he not want to be a father or does he not? I don't know. You don't want him to be a father. I don't think he's interested. I post pictures of her on his Facebook wall. She's a beautiful little girl. He don't respond. He don't like them. I know a few of his cousins. I talked to the cousins, but he's not putting up a fight. You know what I mean? So it's really just me and her. So you put the, you put, you still tag the photos on his Facebook page? Yeah. And I, I do that for her too just in case i ever want to show her him you know it looks like he posted it kind of you know what i mean like her appearance is on there so it gives her the feeling like maybe, maybe he, he cared or me as one older daughter okay all right well okay well so the child's father's not involved at all so we got sheila in florida 39 virgo two-year-old school teacher mom to a six-year-old daughter what kind of man are you looking for now like I said, somebody who is emotionally evolved, you know what I mean? Like stable minded, obviously not, I don't know. I guess I think the narcissist term is used a little loosely, but just somebody who is confident in themselves, want to get to know me for me. And, um, you know, I just put the daughter thing out there because she is with me all the time. It's not like I got 50-50 custody and I'm taking trips and doing whatever. Like, it's a big part of my life. So it's just something I wanted to put on the forefront. Like, I don't want to say I'm looking for a stepdaddy, but you know what I mean? Like, okay. if I was to be with somebody, it's kind of like a package deal. Okay. And time is not waiting, so, you know. And what else? I said time isn't waiting on me. You know what I mean? So... If I want to pop out another kid, my eggs are drying up a little bit. You know what I mean? I only got a few more good years before menopause hit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A lot's going on tonight, Sheila. Y'all love telling me everything. All right. What's your deal breaker? Is it actually your deal breaker? Like I said, abusive. You know, and you can read that out pretty early. Um, somebody who makes fun of you too much in the beginning. Like, you know how some people will give you compliments and then they hit you with an insult? You know what I mean? I, it'd be red flagging to me. So I just want somebody who don't be trying to sneak this, you know, keeps it cool, gives me a little space, but is available, you know, just. And also, if you are in a relationship with somebody else, just leave me alone. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be no side chick or nothing like that. Okay. Um, so you look a certain way. Um, I'm 5'8". I'm 5'8", so I'm not saying he has to be taller than me, but anything below 5'6", five, 5'5", five, five would be a little awkward, you know, but who knows? Man. I'll say this. She's going to say I don't want to be a side chick. If you're a side chick, you're a side chick. And we sat up here and, and we say how there's more women than there are men, which means all of y'all don't get a man. I would say you fall into the column of women who don't get a man. Tell me, where are we at? They can't accept that. We talked about, again, shout out to the Rigo Rumble, man. We talked about this last night to some extent. Yes, the, people need to understand they lane. And today's modern mercenary woman is having a most difficult time understanding the lane she then jumped in head first into. And it's unfortunate. Everybody don't get a man. Use the side chick. Can't say, oh, I don't want to be a side chick no more. You don't get to decide. It ain't your decision to make. So, shout out to El Paulino. He says, this is a sad outcome to be a one-night stand. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said in the chat, this brother most likely smoking the crack rock. Yeah, she said substance abuse. She said that. So Hunching, hunching crackheads. That's wicked. Yeah. Crackhead she hunter. She said he was a substance abuse and he's a man I should not have been with. I was in a dark space at the time in my life. and Yeah. Was was that the accountability poke his head around the corner for a second there? <laughs> <laughs> Far too late. All right. 
<laughs> Shout out to Armar says, "What's a two year old teacher?" That part. yeah, that's I was like, this woman a teacher. That's what I wanted to touch on. This is an educator, and two year old. She work at a daycare somewhere. It should be a rule, man. Yeah, she the woman yeah, yeah. who passed out. She passed out the milk in the fruit cups at the daycare. She, if you gave a crack kid your womb, you don't even qualify to do that. Put them juice boxes down right now. Put it down and step outside the door. <laughs> yeah. So she's teaching the kids how to use a spoon and a straw. All right. All Unacceptable. Right. Unqualified. <laughs> Here we go. Shout out to Vine Photo says, isn't it amazing men are narcissists after the fact? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, she oh she spun some sick hoodoo. What she say? She said something. She's ah dang, I can't remember. She said narcissist is overused. Then she spun some hoodoo. Can't remember what it was, but it was impressive. I'll remember later. Here we go. Shout out to who's the master says I'm surprised Kendra didn't ever advise advise her to freeze her eggs. Yeah, good evening, SBC. Yeah, yeah Kendra, Kend- she's like, you know what? We just go move on. Kendra said, I'm tired of telling y'all about this. Yeah, and that's bread. Yeah, Kendra looked at her. She saw that. She said, you can't go to CVS and steal no cryogenic chamber for your eggs. She said, I ain't even going to bring it up. You ain't got the bread. <laughs> Man. And shout out to Emmanuel. He says, what? He said, we going to ignore the hood in Florida, though? Mm. They said it in the chat. She go to CVS stealing with the youngins. She looting. Looting and Putin. <laughs> and shout out to my guy, Truth and Reality Undefeated in the building. Says, time isn't waiting on me. <laughs> Woman, failure to plan on your on your end is an emergency of mine. Oh my. He says she's not even good side piece material. Maybe for Mr. 40K. Not even. If yeah. 40K is a hardworking man, we gotta that's the average, right? So we got to go below that, right? I guess we have to say 30. Here we go. Because Mr. 40K, Mr. 50K, 40K, they got something to lose. And we sent her as the side piece. Like, even as a side piece, she can be, she can harm Mr. 40K. Yeah, because a man making 45K, he wakes up and goes to work every morning. He is some degree of responsible. Yes. Yeah, see what I'm saying? But she, and he got to go to work. He mess around and she get in her feelings. And slash Mr. 40K tires, that put him in a bind. Like, no, we don't know because she unstable. No, no. Yeah, so she, woman like her, get 25K at best. There like, the guy, we talked about this, you know, pushing the carts at Walmart, working at the gas station somewhere overnight, part-time. Very little to lose. Minimal to lose. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Blessing. Come through with the channel membership. Thank you, Blessing. And... Tony come back around, says her daycare spoons got, got burn marks underneath them. See what I'm saying? And, and they bent at a weird angle, Tony. Can't describe it. Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. Get your cab, sister. <laughs> and my dreams might be 5'4". And then your dreams might be 5'4"? Yeah. Never know. Okay. Um, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Now. Nah, I'll think about that. You don't think about money. It's not that I don't think about money, but to put a number on it, I've had some really. This gonna sound weird, but I've had some dudes that weren't that financially abundant be very generous with me, and I've had some dudes who use their money like a, a chokehold on me, like I gave you this, now you got it. You know what I mean? So to say I'm basing it off money, I'm looking at character. Okay, okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, you ain't gonna see too much because I, I was on my um, Mary J. Blige. I was just about to do a little dance video to just fine. That's why I'm just You're doing a dance it. video. <laughs> no, like, uh, you know, that Mary J. Blige song, just fine, fine, fine. She had the hoodie on. I was about to put my glasses on. I was just about to break that shit down. And then I, um. What are you doing a video for? Just for real, just for fun. Oh, just okay, dance. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not crazy. Not crazy. I mean, I should have asked this question, but everybody kept wanting me to ask you. Why do you have the hoodie on? And it's because you're about to do a Mary J. Blige. Yeah, I'm about to do a video. I got my ring light right here. I'm about to, you know what I mean? Just, I be having fun. Okay, okay. okay fair enough. Oh, I know Mary J. Blige once said. No, 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 no. <laughs> this woman, 40. She ended up talking about doing TikToks. 
This is what we're talking about. Forty year old woman says, "I'm just sitting here doing TikToks and uh, TikToks." What well, explains the wig? I mean, I guess it explains it all. Kinda. Yeah. Listen, regardless of some Mary J. Blast challenge, you bought that wig beforehand. You didn't buy that wig just for this. You wear it outside in public, and all all of the above. Good excuse, Bonquisha, but no. And look at y'all in the chat. Y'all on her top, but as soon as she stand up and y'all see some case, now nah, dang, she thick. <laughs> look at that. Look at that picture. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Forty dollars. Y'all wildin', man. So <laughs> mm-hmm. here we go. We're gonna let her keep going. Uh, we'll drop her down to half off, Shorty. Here we go. Oh man. But why is you know, that's why I said let me not look at the comments. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. When was your last relationship? Hmm. Last relationship. I'll say about two years ago, for real. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Mm, A few months ago. A few months ago. Okay, Listen. so we got Sheila, 39, Virgo. Um, my Okay, they wanted me to ask you the, what is the definition of a two-year-old school teacher? It's just somebody who, it, my... We don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I like, we finally get the definition. <laughs> Shout out to Q, what it do? We don't care. I just... Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I like, it's over. She's just about to tell us. Nope, it's over. Shout out to you too. It's over. <laughs> right matter. Yeah, she's about to lie to us about something. And she grandize. Is. She's about to grandize and lie. Because she definitely wasn't going into a straight answer. She look, is. look how she's staring off. She's thinking of something. She said, uh, the, the, uh. Perfect time at Q2. Appreciate So if you. Q2 want to let her finish, we'll let her We'll give her 15 seconds, but y'all got to ask Q2, Q2 if y'all want the answer. All right. Yeah, otherwise, we'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah, come through with the $40. Actually, when we dropped her down, so you still got 20 in your back pocket, and he says, she said, you know me too many times past. She did. She did. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. This is CVS Bandit. Know what it is. Yeah, I'm over her. Um, where was we at here? Shout out to Mr. Clay come through with the $10. Says, my 75-year-old mom was watching one of the shows with me, and she said, is these women crazy? These, they too ugly to be asking for that. Oh, bless your mother. Look at that. We can't say that, but your mom can. <laughs> she can say, I told you. Them, them old sisters, they would tell these women, like, you need to get you a job and make sure you take care of yourself because you you strong in the face. Glory to the old time sisters. Glory to your mom, Mr. Clay. Yeah. <laughs> that part. And also, we actually had a drop for that. Let me see if we still got it. Shout out to my girl, uh, Felicia. I think Felicia in the chat, I want to say she sent us this, but this goes right in line with you saying, Mr. Clay. You tell the bitch. I hate a female who act cuter than what she is. Uh-huh. Listen to me and listen to me good. Uh-huh. Bitch, act your face. Yeah, exactly. Act your face. Act your face. These hoes need to act their face, bro. Hey, act the way, man. These hoes got to act their face around here. That's what they look like. I mean, like, like they have, they be ugly hell and have five-star attitude. They have a What are you talking about, bro? The all right so hey. that's kind of what your mom was saying mr clay uh, there you go i like it yeah using the u word <laughs> act your face mm, welcome to 2024 it's getting it's getting crazy we're here for it. Act your face, Bon Quisha. All right. Uh, we squabbling. Nah. Act your face. Yeah. yeah. That's what I've been trying to say all this time. Act, yeah. Because we know you got to be the messenger. Act, act your face. Act, act your what? SMV, sexual marketplace value. SMV. Yeah. Act your SMV. 
And shout out to Demarcus. He come back. He says, "I bet all my money that wig is attached to the hood." Streetwalker vibes. I bet if she, that is sick imagery. <laughs> and he also comes back and he says, "Crack smoke, auntie." Yeah, yeah, possibly, probably. Mm-hmm. And Richard Media says she's doing more than dancing with the ring light. It would it would behoove her. It would, yeah. Listen here, like it's listen. She she foobar. It would behoove her to be up there. All that straight OF, yeah. <laughs> and shout out to who's the master says I can sit my hungry man dinner on that. See that? Yeah, ain't too much crack. She got cheeks. Look like she had a wag. She almost started twerking. <laughs> there we go. And divine photo says her real occupation is smashing dash robberies. Uh, CVS Bandit. So, as far as her, what we doing with her? Throwing her in a sub? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sub. Yeah, y'all saved her. I would have said the bottomless pit, but y'all like her cheeks. So, sub. Yeah, sub it is. There we go. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Shout out to all the sub legends. Whatever happened with uh Krishan Rock and Blueface character? I think Blueface. Blueface still in jail, if I'm mistaken. He ain't mm. been released yet. That's crazy. That's crazy. That was uh, mm, mm, mm. the submarine legends, baby. Icy spicy. Can't save icy spicy millennial. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. We only got 284 likes. It's over 560 people in here. Amazing. What's that? What's that? Butter soup. <laughs> here we go. We, we might be in line for some butter soup. We was going to keep the show moving, but man, ha- half of y'all, literally half of y'all have not hit the like button. Who ordered the butter soup? Who ordered it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Let's get the likes up. Get the likes up, folks. I see some of y'all. We starting to get some likes. Come on now. We can do it. <laughs> oh, mercy. What have we devolved to, Lord? What have we devolved to? <laughs> see, here's the thing. I thought that was something cold. Then she blew on it. That video, We as many times as we've been forced to watch that, I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> exactly what's up under her eyes like she's actually like she's visibly swollen like what's what's in that cup because <laughs> it looked cold like it's in milk but she blow on it. i don't see no steam um i ain't gonna lie she... when she's stirring that cup just the noise of that stir is aggravating all right yeah, yeah she likes stirring the cup off of uh off of uh <laughs> Rough that that's a rough stir, man. Man, it's kind of hypnotizing a little bit too. It is like, it is. 
like off to the movie. Get out. Yeah, get out. Yeah, all that. It's dark. <laughs> so here we go. We got over 330 likes. If we can get to 400 here, we're going to keep cooking. Hit, right. hit the like button. Here we go. <laughs> Cassandra, honey, are you ready, baby girl? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm ready. I got to take my shot, though. They, they say it's shot o'clock. Okay. You're taking a shot? Okay. What, what's going on? Why are you taking a shot? It was shot o'clock. What is shot o'clock? Well, we take our shots. That's and, and and what's the what's the occasion? The occasion is to success and you know leveling up. So is there is there a particular time that shot o'clock? Shot o'clock could be any time, any minute, any second. You know. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, we see what you want, Cassandra. How old are you? Thirty-two. What do you do? Eight, for a living huh what do you do for a living i am a teacher teacher um, do you have any kids yes i have two how old are your two kids ten and eight ten and eight both by the same man no 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 have you been married no okay and what's your zodiac sign the pisces and where are you calling me from? Where do you live? Where I live, I'm in Trenton. And I don't want to talk to nobody from Trenton. So, New Jersey. Trenton, New Jersey? Yes. What's New wrong? Jersey. What's wrong with the men in Trenton, New Jersey? Um, they're, they're toxic. They're... Hey. Hey. They're toxic. Um... It's nothing. It's just nothing. Like every everybody is the same. Somebody, everybody fucking on everybody, and that's yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a minute now. Oh. This woman, you got two kids by two men, and you are talking about the dating pool. This is this is what's wrong. Do people not look in the mirror and self reflect? Listen, we see. We know we seeing. Let. The sister ain't blowed out, and we know the see who do going on today. This particular kind of woman that ain't exactly blowed out, she like, I'm beating out 80% of my melanated competition. I'm a couple and say whatever the heck I want to say. And then again, this is another educator of our children. This is an educator. She gonna come up here taking shots, and then when she says she a teacher, then I don't know if y'all heard, she said, oh, maybe I shouldn't have did that. How in the world have you shown enough discipline to become an educator and you still don't think before you act? You teach kids, but you don't think before you act. You can now you know, I probably shouldn't have did that. That's a that's a bad representation of teachers. Mm-hmm. And is. And she's sitting up here talking about I don't want to date any man in Trent, New Jersey, because everybody you ran through, y'all give it away. Everybody in town know she got a kid by Pookie and she got a kid by Ray Ray. They so she don't she want to escape her past. Good luck. There you go. Cause maybe just maybe she could keep on that uh waist trainer, Monique, and find her beta simp that don't know nothing about her past, don't know that everybody, every other person in that row house done raked over the coals, and she's like, I can I can get my desired result. I respect the hoodoo. Man. That's just that. I'm a little late, but I was, I was, listen, I was on your show, like, I would say like a month and a half ago, but we got disconnected and then we tried to reconnect and then the guy, he started jerking off and then you just ended the live. That was a month. I don't remember, but let's, let's, let's just pick up from here. Okay. Okay. So we got Cassandra on Trent, New Jersey, 32 Pisces is a teacher, mom of two kids, never married. What kind of man you looking for? No men in Trent, New Jersey. Yeah, that's 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 enough. Okay, what kind of man you want, honey? I'm looking for somebody that that, that can make my energy, that can. I feel like I'm so like I don't know, like I I'm how can I say this? Um, I'm too masculine sometimes, so you know. Like, I need, I need somebody that's going to calm me down, that's going to, you know, simmer 
slow me down. Like, and shout out to Divine. I was gonna say here. I know we got uh twenty in the skip pot from um who's the master. So I guess if Divine, you know, Divine come through, he ain't playing. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess if we getting up off her. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, she masked. She just said I'm masculine and a little bit of self awareness. Divine, she said it. She put quotes around it like I always do. Don't put quotes around masculine. No, you masculine. You put quotes around it. That's like allegedly, or you know, just yeah. No, that's a fact. Use a masculine woman. Up here talking about shot o'clock. Yeah, she looked like she. Uh, I ain't gonna get into it, man. But yeah, is it over, Divine? You, you skipping this this uh, ratchet tank? Yeah, let us know, brother. He says, come through to $20. A teacher talking about shot o'clock and drinking on a dating show. Parents will probably see this and report this to the school district ASAP. She in Trenton is really over, no different than Newark. He says, Camden and East Orange. <laughs> y'all got to think before y'all act. This is a teacher taking shots unprompted unsolicited nobody told her to take that shot she just said a shot a clock who's told you that bone quisha <laughs> like the self-destruction is real man self-sabotage so yeah yeah not um who's the master but q what it do so yeah q mm -hmm. what it do he had came through there were still and i see divine divine says it's over four so yeah, who's the master i didn't put 20 in the pot there we go we got that corrected but nonetheless <laughs> Um, she's finished, all right, and who's the master also said, was that a boiled egg or a chunk of butter? You, you that the confusion, who's the master, to be determined. It looked like, like a banana or something, I don't know. I thought it was like, see what I'm saying, a clump of dough, it could be a number of things, none, none healthy, uh, could have been a big old clump of tofu? No. Could have been a big old clump of, I ain't going to say it. Shout out to Squeegee Kid says, sadly, she's Kendra top 100, though. You think? Let's let's see this. Let's see the Kendra yam cam. Okay. <laughs> That's what we, we're going to check the yam cam out. But top 100 with two for two, Squeegee. Yeah. All right. Man, let's see. Let's see. You know how y'all get down. Let's see. Let's see what these uh, apartments info. All right. They probably tearing me up in these comments. I'm drunk. Can I see your legs? They moving back? Oh, I can't. I can't see. Oh, all right. Let me see. Did Let she me say she drunk? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, the phone is going to fall. Okay. You can see me. No. You can oh. see. Okay. Yes. Uh oh, you turn that booty around on him. <laughs> I mean, okay, small song. Hey, don't play with it. She look good, and that's I, what it is. I got the um the mom vibe going on, so I can have a bad body. Oh. Uh -uh. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Don't use the term mom by Get in the gym. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't don't do that. Mom bod. You stop. <laughs> Listen here, mom bod unacceptable. Dad bod, no acceptable. There's this, there's a place for dad bod. Dad bod can have function. Mom bod, lazy. <laughs> now, double standard, if you will. <laughs> but nonetheless, there y'all go. She got some yamage, and mm -hmm. I don't know about top 100. I don't know if you could be two for two and be top, you know. Here's here's my thing. We not go, let's let's place ourselves here at, at these potments, shall we? Late night. Look at these, all these lights is on. You can see everything. And she is standing in the light. This woman is outside. I don't know. What time is it? 10, 30, 11, midnight? Help me. And she outside. Everybody can see her in the apartments. And she out here twirling with her pink on. Those, everybody is watching this woman outside. And they talking ish. Like, I don't, people live inside their head too much. She a whole spectacle. A oh, teacher. yeah, a lot of these women live for that. That's attention. They live See, for that. That is insane. That's what I think. I'm like, is she begging for an audience? I guess the answer is yes. Sheesh.
Yeah, that part. So what Squeegee says, no, not top 100 was joking about the soup lady. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I said, man, I said Squeegee off his meds tonight. I was wondering, Squeegee. All right. <laughs> All right, he said, No, no, <laughs> and shout out to Demarcus. Come back in the cash out. He said, She's posted in the alley talking about leveling up. Play the Charleston White pump and dump for her. <laughs> uh, man, that part. Listen, she is in the heart of the pop mints, man. The seeing these locations, she in the hood out here doing a kinder cam for the one time. Amazing. And we're going to take her from the hood and just eject her in the outer space. And there we go. Let's see if we can see that pink dress from space. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. I hope you find some peace of mind. <laughs> mm. Most unfortunate. Teach us. We done had two educators up here acting the whole manky. Come on, we got to do better, educators. Got to do better. We really do. We really do. A lot of these yeah. women, though, they don't be real. Teachers today, the bar is set low. Teachers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like, more and more anymore, you see stories of teachers hunching on their students. And this is the thing. They be attractive teachers. Like, that's some bull job. Yeah, when we went to school, we didn't have too many attractive teachers. We still came up in a generation of old auntie you know big blowed out bus driving teachers <laughs> that part so man well here we go hit the like button if you're just coming in shout out to skinny boy he says i right, the bay yang bandit or saved by the belvedere <laughs> saved by the belvedere <laughs> so here we go hit the like button folks hey love candace candace where you calling me from Georgia. Georgia, how old are you? 33. 33, what do you do for a living? I work customer service. I work from home. Customer service. You work from home. What is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. Stop moving, boo, and keep the phone in your face, OK? okay. I can't see my face. It's black, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on with Facebook, but we can see you. Um, do you have any children? Yes, I have one. She's four. She's four years old. Why are you not with the dad? Um, we just I don't know. Long story. <laughs> were you guys ever together? Yeah, we were. We were together. We separated in 2020. Um, okay. Um, after. Were your baby was two? No, she was like nine months. Why'd y'all break up in nine months? It, he has other kids and um, it was a family issue. Family issues, okay. So we got Candace, Georgia, 33, Capricorn, customer service, um, yeah. a four year old. Um, okay. I think I, have, oh, you called me from Georgia. Let's do it. What kind of man? Are you looking for um just someone nice and understanding that's all yeah uh, not no crazy abusive man <laughs> but just okay nice understanding <laughs> okay um what are your deal breakers um narcissistic men <laughs> um men who just don't understand and like I'm a single mother, you know, and I might not always be available, but if you show me that you're worth my time, I can give it to you. I got beans and baloney. Somebody has to show this woman that holy hell. Listen, these women are so full bar out here. She I don't even know. Like, what do you do? What are we doing for this woman? Who go? Oh. It's terrible. Listen, hold up. Let me see here. 33. She's younger. 30, 33. She got a four year old. She 30. Talking about what? Why aren't you with the baby daddy? Well, I don't know. And he was having kids by other women. And yeah. so here we go. The tale of another man with multiple kids. One man knocking up all these women. It's amazing. 
We talked about this last night. They don't inquire. What what's 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 a bone question like this motto? You know, I hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. I ain't asking you no questions. Nug nug. Long as you beating these cheeks and giving me some empty gratification and meet to meet pleasures, I'm gonna play my role until I don't no more. And here we are. They know what they're getting into. They know this ninja was couch surfing between bone quishes. They be knowing what the vibes is. It just goes south. And then that's why when Kendra say what happened, they ain't got no answer. They just, it's so, it's so complicated, Kendra. It's so complicated. I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> and we talked about this before. This be full-fledged kudakata wars. These women be waging their kudakatas. So, they be knowing, all right, he's sleeping with me. He's sleeping with her, but I got magical wop and she got dusty wop. He going to chuck this wop. No, he ain't. He going to shoot up all the clubs. Hence, hence the complication. She don't want to say that. She don't want to, she don't want to expose her sick hoodoo thinking up here on camera. She don't want to say that. It's like Kendra, I, I bet on my Kuda cat and I lost. And here I am. That would be the truth. <laughs> and shout out to my guy. Drew come through. He says Philly cheesesteak, bag of chips, a clear, he said a clear fruit with some douce. Keep her laughing. She too easy. Hood bougie. <laughs> Who is it? Not this one. Though. Hopefully the other one. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Richai. Says she was drunk. She was a drunk night booty call. This one here? Oh, yeah. It, no, listen. Y'all don't want to see the man they hunching on. Y'all do not want to I, see. We him. actually do. I wish Kendra would start. We need to. We got the Kendra cam. I would, Kendra, if you're listening, if we can get the baby daddy cam, mm -hmm. right? They all don't have to do it, but I bet you some of them will be excited to do it, right? They, they, there you the go, Kendra. Kendra, I would even, I'd be like, look, I would start putting out a PSA, but like, listen here, I'm having a new question that people want to see. Like, hey, I cash app you whatever five dollars or something if you can show us your baby daddy, it's worth it. And we yeah. know you got pictures. Yeah, pull up your phone, go to his face, whatever. What's yeah, his Facebook? Yeah, we got let us see this man. Yeah, because I guarantee you all the dots connect. She ain't about to show her baby daddy and it be some Idris Alba player. No, this ninja might be actively smoking, cracking the picture. <laughs> Tell y'all something. Yeah, something. Go down to the local jail. See if you can get his mugshot picture. Something. Give us something. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, just go in the local paper. His mugshot in there somewhere. All right. Shout out to Frederick Howard. Says she looked like a two-piece, the anime character. See, mm -hmm. I ain't even look. I'm not gonna Google that. <laughs> My guy Squeegee Kid says Jim Lee, the dwarf, Lords of the Ring looking. I love it. We geeking out. <laughs> Man, I'm lost. Shout out to Divine Photos. Five dollars says the most overused word modern women say narcissist. He was a narcissist when he was hitting that and left. Yeah, narcissist. Mr. Walker said this before. That's an egregious accusation. That's like coming up here saying I don't want a serial deleter. Like, <laughs> yes, seriously. And what did we learn last year? It was Bonquisha that was the narcissist of the year. Yeah, she was just deflecting and projecting. Uh -huh. we, we got you figured out. Yeah. So I said she was just hitting raw and it learns to take the L respectfully. Move on. Talking about narcissists. The, the woman last night talking about, you know, the whole drizzle drizzle and the 4B movement. That sister said that they going to outweigh, outlast men, wait them out until they <laughs> all go away and the, the human race vanishes that's narcissistic <laughs> Man. so shout out to squeegee kid he said at the same time he was a narcissist but you let him hit it raw you didn't have second thoughts and what else he said now you're a single mom now you're a single mom whoever made this so they need they need a trophy and go straight to Hades at the same time. <laughs> okay, I know you can't see yourself, so I'm gonna give you grace. Just bring the phone down a little bit. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, should he look a certain way? No. 
No, you don't care how he looks. Okay. What about money? Do you care about money? We don't care. We really don't. We we really don't. I agree. I can't even give no pushback. I can't play public defender for this woman. We really don't. We don't want to see no Kendra Cam. I don't want to vote. I say just, yeah, we're lit nice when you, when you need them. <laughs> Man, shout out to Richa. He, he cut through the forty dollars. He says we don't need to see or hear any more from her. No Kendra Cam. Next contestant. I like it. I like it. We gotta be stern, man. We gotta make examples. I don't hear nothing else you got to say. Oh, y'all ever see Fifth Element? I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> there we go. Madness. Fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. <laughs> mm. it's, it's grim up here anymore, y'all. So... Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> there you go. Multi pass. <laughs> she looked like those uh creatures that was trying to buy the guns from my man Zord. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop covering looking like anime creatures and villains from sci fi movies. It's unfortunate. Listen, it's power in knowing your lane, knowing your place, act your face. Amen. There you go. Shout out to Big Unk. Also, shout out to Demarcus. Come back in the cash app. What you got here, brother? He says, she look like a foot fungus with eyes. Man. He says, tell Kendra <laughs> to call it the ninja cam. <laughs> uh, who, I wouldn't have said all that. All right. But yeah, it's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to get back into it. Shout out to Richard Media. Who is one of the show sponsors? We appreciate you, brother. <laughs> appreciate you, Richard. You know where I get that unfortunate from? From uh one of one of my Caucasian friends. I love it because they just they just you'll say something, baby. Like, yeah, man, I crashed my car today. They're like, that's too bad, Will. That's too bad. And they don't, they don't give a damn. They don't <laughs> care. You know, they're like, that's too bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, uh, what do you want to do for lunch? <laughs> Yeah, life lessons that let you know don't go around seeking pity from folks. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So, there you go. All right, but most of y'all, most people don't operate like that, though, especially in the, the gynocratic circles. So, we get it. Mm -hmm. Too emotional. No, there you go. So, that, yeah, try it. Y'all, when y'all chilling in it, y'all functions, whatever, y'all let the cook out. And one of y'all ghetto cousins, whoever come around begging, drunk uncles and aunties, they're like, nephew, I need a whole couple of dollars. I'm short this week. Be like, unk, that's unfortunate. I'll holler at you. <laughs> yeah, or when these women, like you said, when y'all having ladies night, y'all sipping Casamigos, and the big sister said, well, he keep cheating on me, and he just had a baby. Look at her and say, well, that's unfortunate. You know, pass me that bottle over there. Mm -hmm. Don't sit there and say all oh, these ninjas ain't ish and you a queen and you know mm -hmm. that's too bad, Bonquisha. Another shot. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Hit the like button. So she was literally waiting. So that's funny. Okay, you look you have beautiful skin. Thank you. All right. What's your name, baby? Simone. Simone, where you calling me from? Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. How old are you? I'm 31. What you do for a living? I'm a senior program manager. Senior program manager? I am. Okay. Okay. Do you have any kids? You do? I, I do have one. She's oh, nine. Nine? Okay. All right. So we got Simone Jacksonville, Florida, 31. Um, senior program manager. What's your zodiac sign? Libra. Libra. Have you ever been married? I have when did you get I'm divorced when did you get divorced about four years ago four and a half years ago 
Okay, back up a little bit and make sure your head's not cut off in the camera. Let me see. Come on, how old are you two? I'm 31. 31? Yeah. All right. Make sure your head's not cut off. Can you bring it up a little bit? Because I have All right, that's better. That's better. Can you move back? All right. So we got Simone, 31, Jacksonville, Florida. Libra, senior program manager. Mom's to a nine-year-old. Is your son by your ex-husband? Yes, my daughter. Your daughter, your daughter, I'm sorry. And you got divorced, you said, four years ago. Yes. Officially divorced. Uh, officially. <laughs> All right, but what kind of man are you looking for? So I'm looking for someone goal-oriented, um, adventurous, someone willing to grow with me, um, grow together, honest, not married. <laughs> Emphasis on the not married. Um, yeah, just someone that I can grow with and can be my companion and my partner. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, someone that doesn't have experiences, goals, that type of thing. Um, someone that doesn't believe in God. Uh, not, not necessarily religious, but you know, has a purpose to themselves. They say your skin is skinny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, should he look a certain way? Um. No, I don't, I don't think so. Um, as long as he finds himself attractive, I'm like a vibe person. So um, in my past, the people that I found the most attractive, I ended up finding them not to be attractive when I got to know them versus the people that I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. And then we get to know each other and I find them very attractive. So. Okay. So here we go. Hell. I see y'all in the chat. Y'all saying she looked tired, exhausted. And one thing I'll say, she's been married. She has a child. That's mm -hmm. going to take something out of you. And one thing I'll say to me, you don't want to be a woman's second husband at a certain age. Like you said, if y'all up there, 55, 60s, you know, granted. When you down in your 30s and 40s, you don't want to be a woman's second husband and y'all still in your 30s. Screw that. Yeah, come on. There you go. I couldn't have said it better myself. And did she clarify that this child was indeed from her ex-husband? Did we get... Okay, yeah, because huh, Veronica rules in effect up here. Okay, 31, a nine-year-old daughter. This is extremely unfortunate, but this is a bad situation. Like, new guy coming in, nine-year-old daughter. Let's, let's see. Let's listen more. Let's see. Here we go. Hit the like button. So, okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um... No, I do really well though. So I'm hoping that they could be somewhat equally yoked to myself. But yeah. Equally yoked. So there's no dollar amount. Mm, I'd say uh, 100K ish. Oh. Yes, I do make that amount. So she said 100K ish. Yeah. Now that's a new one. <laughs> Around 100K ish. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Um, let's see. You look great. You look uh uh. Hundred K. Where? 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 She gonna have to pay to play yeah honey k come on man they gotta stop doing this and they rip they say it without any hesitation honey k yes i make that hypergamy it's in this room indeed it is it's over it's oh she ain't blowed out by any means however <laughs> she also ain't got too many curves that men tend to like listen here please observe the sexual marketplace all right they they dare call this woman skinny. All right, that's them. They say she's skinny, no cheeks. They don't like it. <laughs> yeah, you had a husband. You should have stayed. He liked it. He popped the baby in you. What happened? What happened to the union? How did you end up back here? Are you supposed to be married and holy matrimony? Now you're out here looking for an adventurous man. Girl, she got bored. Oh, ho, ho, there we go been a while since we uh decipher some hoodoo she's looking for an adventurous man 
She got bored with her boring, stable husband. And she outgrew them. She don't deserve nothing. Now I don't like her. Here we go. You look small. I am. I am. <laughs> okay. So we got Simone, nine year old uh, mom, nine year old mom to nine year old daughter. Okay. If I can read my own handwriting, was once married, divorced. Do you want to get married again? I do. It's the right person. Absolutely. Okay. Go back, back into the middle of the camera. <laughs> All right. It's the right person. So was your last relationship your marriage? Um, so, sort of, yes. I wouldn't count the other. You had a relationship? So, okay, what is your last relationship? You would say your marriage? About a, about a year ago. No, it wasn't my marriage. Okay. All right. Um, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. About a year ago. All right. Um, okay, three flaws you have to work on. Knowing when to invest in something, um, in someone, being honest as far as my feelings, like if it's not there, I should just call it out right away instead of letting it drag. Um, and then trying new things. Trying new things? Yeah, yeah, like I'm real black and white when it comes to certain things. Um, kind of conservative, so sometimes I should try try new things. Not too extreme, but just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? So, um, I would say that I like to consider myself the girl that does a little bit of everything, so I'm kind of professional. I like to have a good time. Um, I think I'm pretty. Um, I've been been able to grow in my last relationships and kind of know how to try a little bit differently as far as making things work and being open um just working through hard times because I think that's the most important time right when things are kind of rough um when it's great awesome but it's about when it's not so great how you deal with those types of things so I'm ready to apply some of those things to a real relationship okay now um what stage range you would date you are 31 yeah, so um, I'd say 28 to 50. 28 to 50. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time? Oh, you already told me that. 28 to 50. Yeah. And should the guy be in Jacksonville, Florida? No, not necessarily, but he has to be open to travel, of course. And okay. us figuring out the middle ground do you want, as far as where to live and what progresses. Do you want more kids? <laughs> um, I'd be open to it depending on the relationship i'm not necessarily striving to have more children but for my husband absolutely i would consider it for your husband you would consider it yeah okay well let's do it let's do it we got simone 31 jacksonville florida nine-year-old daughter um libra and you say you do want more kids for your husband make at least 100k well 100k ish yeah, just ish, ish. So if he made 75-ish, is that too low? No. As long as he's okay with me making more, we're okay. Okay. So she'll date a man that makes less as long as you can handle her making more. A lot of women are saying that. Is it the challenge of the men being able to handle it? Um, um or the, yeah, so Sometimes it becomes a pride thing. Um, I'm really big into my goals. Um, and so they don't understand why I do things the way I do them professionally. Um, and I'm hoping that if we're in that same bracket of things and understanding of goals that we can we can strive together versus it me being a battle of me being alone and them not understanding why I do the things I do. I got you. All right, let's do it. How can he reach out to you? So I am on Instagram and I'm on Facebook um, under Simone. So S I M O N E and then last name Rigel, R I D G E L L. So here we go. We got another one of these women up here claiming to make over 100K. Shout mm -hmm. out to my guy, Medium Man. You know, he, he come out, what is it? I want to say 6%. Correct me if I'm wrong, somewhere around, give or take 6%. So we got another one of these women claiming to be in the top 6% of black women. Here we are. I'm over it, man. 
I'm over this sister. I love the would you have another baby slide scale? You know, she ain't she really ain't hell bent on having another child. However, if the relationship is good enough, i.e., if if he come in here making quarter million and up, I get that ninja another baby. Yeah, I will I will submit to his finances. But if he come in here making 70k, like you trying to push that issue, Kendra, he ain't getting another baby out of this cooter cat. Now with 70k, he ain't quarter mil. I'll pop out a baby for him. I get it. And shout out to El Paulino. She says the divorced women are getting younger once you get off the dating market. Stay off. Stop tainting the pool. There you go. Man. Yeah, they are getting younger. 31 and divorced. <laughs> hmm. And Richard Media, he says, fellas, she has a nine-year-old and an ex-husband. This is a terrible deal. This is terrible. Not a good deal. You would be disrespected by the child. That's why nine years old, that disrespect is on Nah, y'all know my kid. My kids mm-hmm. got manners. My kids is good. Yeah. And to, and to the stranger come out of nowhere hunting on his mama, on her mama. Come on, man. Stop. These kids know what's going on. They know what the vibes is. <laughs> and Divine Photo, equally yoke. You have a child. No one is equal. Yeah. But my kid is special. My kid is good. Y'all don't make a hundred k. It would be a joy for you to meet my kid. You understand? Yeah, you, you gotta earn. Listen here, step daddy. You gotta earn the privilege to meet my child <laughs> and take care of it. <laughs> Holy hell! Shout out to Truth and Reality Undefeated with the five dollars. We appreciate you, brother. He says, "What makes these women think a man work to get a hundred k and want to spend it on Nug Nug Junior and a used wound? He can easily get a twenty six year old with no kids." They don't, cause they special. Is that Kuda Cat is just the bomb? No. I guess. <laughs> and shout out to Q. What to do? He says that's. He says that's a no on the more kids. She will consider more kids until marriage, and then after the ring pass. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, we don't talk about that as much. They was talking about it over on DJ Hemp. Yeah, these sisters get that ring and that coup de cat to dry up. No more gok gok down with sexless marriages. Won't play that over here. No. So, and shout out to Divine Photos with the $10. We appreciate you, brother. He says, you know why modern women get treated like a joke? Because prior to having kids, they let Pookie, who makes well below, hit for free. And now they will... They'll have it together and should be on par with the nut one another. So now, yeah, now they won't miss the six figures. Yeah, yeah. The cleanup man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Six Figures, the cleanup man. That's a sick M. Night Shyamalan book. <laughs> like, Mr. Six Figures, clean up? Where? <laughs> man. So that being said, we're going to send her to Glaze Galaxy. She still got some use. There we go. Yeah, she she light as a feather. She'll be easy on the on the poles up there. <laughs> there we go. So, Glaze Galaxy. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh no, I see this shit is gonna be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get it. Dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. I play the fool for a fool. Mm. Shame, shame, shame. It's unfortunate, man. Sister one blowed out. They the chat loved her glowing skin. Shout out, speaking of glow skin, shout out to Tyranny. <laughs> shout out my girl Tyranny and Heathen Queen. They came up dressed and impressed last night. All right. <laughs> hey, my girl Tyranny too funny, man. The internet is a hoot. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Tyranny pregnant as the day is long. Uh, uh, shout out to Tyranny. <laughs> <laughs> And also, shout out to Demarcus. He come back in the cash out. He says she left her husband to try bouquet. What's that? Bukaki? Okay. <laughs> now you a single mom. 
hundred K ish drizzle drizzle. Oh uh, boy. If y'all don't know what that is, Google Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Demarcus. We're gonna keep it moving. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. We ain't done. It's more madness. Stop outgrowing y'all husbands out here, man. Stop trying to level up and come out here just to level down. What did Kev say? You don't get no higher, no better than your husband. And she done left her husband for uh, me to make Bukaki pleasure. So y'all, so y'all say. <laughs> <laughs> That's some sick work. So, but it's been rough. It's been a rough early going. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can find some eligible. What's it like? Fin- <laughs> what is that? Okay, this is match plays. This is our first match play of the night. Um, good, good, googly moogly, man. <laughs> you. Yeah, we had hundred dollar skips. Hundred dollar skips. Match play. We're gonna let her cook. You better hurry. Hey, up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Hi. I can't believe I'm on here. You are. Wow. Okay. All right. I was not expecting this, but okay. I'm here. I'm not together, but I'm you here. You got, you got, well, you called me. How was you not expecting it, baby? Well, because I get on your, sh- I get on here, you know, whenever I can, when I'm not doing mommy duties. And I always, when I, I usually dress up just in case you pick me, but you never pick me. So I was just happened to be putting my babies to sleep when they put to sleep. I was like, let me just pop on here because I had an alert saying that you're on not think that you're gonna pick me but okay stay in the <laughs> light okay so are you, do you want to do wait go back to where he was okay okay hold on let me turn on some you more light. The light in your face okay 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 uh, is your name veronica yes okay yes all right veronica how old are you i am i'll be 49 in november 49 in November. Mm-hmm. So you are, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Veronica, 49 Scorpio. What mm-hmm. do you do for a living? I do a lot of different things. I mean, I went to college, so I'm a school teacher, but COVID, you know, I stopped doing that during COVID when, they, when the school system shut down. And then I went to my photography business, but then I really didn't get a good start on that because of COVID as well. I mean, I got a building and everything in my equipment. So I really didn't get to start off of that. And then I got married. I met somebody before COVID and got married to them. And then before COVID? Yeah, just like in 2018. Okay, stay in the line, honey. Okay. Okay. Um, Wait, so I'm confused. What do you want me to put down for your job? You could put down photography. Photography. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have any? So are you? Okay, you got married. Are you divorced? Yeah, I just got divorced three weeks ago. Oh, you? It's official. Three weeks ago. Yep, it's official. It's done. Hell. There's a lot going on with this woman. She loud. She moving. She talking about she got a school ain't open up yet. She sound like Doctor Umar up here. It's all bad. She like, yeah, I got the school. I'm waiting no more funding. We doing electrical. You know. <laughs> yeah. Boom, shakalaka. She up here talking about what she got married. She blaming COVID on her marriage and or divorce. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is her presentation is an absolute epic failure. That that headpiece, that hair helmet there, one of the most egregious of all time up here. Yeah, that ish on her head is top three as far as egregious. That that sh- that looks stank and stiff, stiff and stank. <laughs> that is terrible. I can't, I can't see nor hear past that dang on hair head. That I can't. What is that? What is that? <laughs> so here we go. She got a school. You a lie, and the truth ain't in you. All right. <laughs> so you got married in COVID, and then you got divorced now. Yep. Why did you get my divorced? first marriage? Is my first marriage. Um. He's cheated on me. How did you find out? Well, so my story is kind of difficult. I met this particular person while he was in prison. And I never thought I would date somebody in prison, but I did. And actually his sister was running his um, page. And so 
I continued to date him for a couple years while he was in prison and I kind of fell for him. I don't know if it was love or lust, but I thought it was kind of love, but, and I supported him while he was in prison and whatnot. And then when he got out of prison, um, that's when we got married like a month after he got out of prison and by him living in a different state, Wisconsin, um, he, um, was still on probation. And so we were kind of like doing a long distance relationship just for a couple months until he can get up here in Michigan. And I knew that his attitude kind of changed. He kind of was distant. He would act kind of weird. And I really couldn't put my finger to it. And I just, the last thing in my mind was him cheating. I didn't want to, I didn't want to believe that. But then he was supposed to come back up here in December to stay permanently, but he would take his time and he would be like me. And then when he did come back up here, he was just so rude. He was like a whole different person. I'm talking about, like, I didn't know this person. And then um, I ended up getting pregnant with twins. What? My oldest son is 27. My babies are two now. Yeah, I ended up getting pregnant with twins. And, uh, wait, wait, okay, I totally missed this. Wait, so yeah. when did you meet him in prison? In 2008, I met him in 2018. Okay, yeah, you met, he was in prison. Mm hmm. So, you, you guys started dating while, did you know him before you went to prison? Mm -mm, no, I was on a dating show, dating site. I was like on a dating site, actually. You're the prison dating site? Yeah, but his sister was running the running his um page because they're not they're not allowed to do that in prison. You can't like do dating sites or anything like that. So I thought I was talking to him at first, but then she said, "Well, I'm his sister. I'm running his page right now. He's this and this and that. I can hook you guys up." And then she told me like where he was at and everything, and and then you like he put money on his books and stuff. And then um, I, we would communicate like that. So we communicate like that for like a, a, over a year. Because he was at a work release center, actually. So he's been in prison for 25 years. So he was. All right. All right. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice. And now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Here we are. This woman, this is the second time. We just had a woman up here last week with damn near the same story, right? She said, I met a man, he was in jail for 15 years. I went, flew down, and prison bays is up. City boy, city boy. <laughs> Have we covered this woman before? Her voice is familiar. She she sounds like the, um, it ain't her, but she sounds like the, the woman that said, the one famous actor stole her baby, Sandra Bullock stole her baby. That's what she said, <laughs> like. This she up here talking about she didn't know if little man in the boat or tantalized if that was love or lust for, for prison nug nug. Stop your absolute madness. I didn't know if it was love or lust. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, this is wild. Now she's talking about she got twins. We're gonna let her cook. We're gonna let her she, cook. She had twins at 48. Wait, how did she, she 49? She had she twins had like at 40, 40. like at 43 or something, 42. She about to get into it. Y'all ain't heard nothing yet. All right, she about to get into it. Shout out to Rich Hop Media. He says, Mr. Walker, two questions. He says, for you, is Tyranny pregnant and did she get married? Tyranny is pregnant. She confirmed that. She showed us. And she is not married yet. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and shout out to Jay Gray. He says that's Pippi Longstocking's cousin, Tippy Longstockings. Yeah, tipping mm. on four foes. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian C says, even with the hair, she will ask for hundred k. <sighs> no comment. <laughs> and Mark Kendall says, "Ma'am, what did you think would happen? Sick work. That helmet, man. That's an egregious helmet." <laughs> Shout out to Q What It Do. Says this lady is for real crazy. She's a teacher. She's a mother. Prison Bay work re uh, release past her. He says over for her and six kids. So yeah, she talking a lot of madness. She talking a lot of madness. We're going to let her lay her plane, Q What It Do. Um, Rachel Media says she got played by a guy's sister. Yeah, she, she said you can't have phones in prison. That's probably kind of normal. 
I guess. Now think about it. These guys had their sisters working a, you know, they um dating profiles and they hooking their brothers up with women from jail. That's yeah, it's a racket. That's crazy. Call him on three way. <laughs> Put my brother on three way. Yeah, go ahead, talk, talk dirty to him. This is sick. Yeah, what's in her hair? Yeah. What's 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 tat? She got the one that one pigtail got some tied around it and it's frayed. It's I'm triggered beyond belief. <laughs> Drive me nuts. This is sick work. And <laughs> Keith Neater says you can't make this ish up. That part. Not if you try it. So here we go. Hit the like button, people. Put out a work release center. So he had a little bit more freedom in a work release center than an actual prison because that's like the last step. You know, work release center, and then after that, you get released. And so he had, he, you know, he had a job and whatnot and everything. And so he was saving up and everything. And then when he got out, we got married. My family wasn't happy about it. Somebody in prison. I don't blame him because I wouldn't think I was going to marry somebody right out of prison. He went there when he was like 17. So I kind of got him, gave him the benefit of the doubt, you know, because I have teenage sons, you know, make mistakes and stuff. But, um, so on our kind of honeymoon, uh, I he fell asleep and his phone was on the um laying around, and I guess you know he didn't have his phone locked, wait, and wait, I picked wait, it up. When did y'all get married? Because that's uh, I think I got confused. Okay, we got married. October. He got out of prison August 2020. We got married in October 2020. Okay. Mm-hmm. So and we got, you got and then you got pregnant with twins. Mm-hmm. Because you, your children mm -hmm. are two years old. Yeah, yeah, the two. Yeah. And you got divorced three weeks ago. Yeah, I should have gotten divorced a long time ago. But if you have kids, you have to wait automatically six months. But see, by him living in a different state, he always would like love bomb me. He would like like I would suspect him he and like this girl kept putting stuff on his Facebook page saying I love you this I love you that I'm like wait a minute who the heck is this and he was like oh no that's she just playing she just jealous and all that kind of stuff and by the time I was already pregnant I was already married to him and I'm like what the heck and I would always like ask him about it but he would always be like you know I'm out of prison people want me and everything and all that kind of stuff but actually that girl that was um that girl that was posting and all that stuff, he wrote her right now and got a baby by her. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> this is not even a half of my story. But okay. Okay. Um let's let's mm -hmm. okay. Um, oh, that's not well, let's end it right there. Um okay. so now you're looking for a new man. <laughs> yeah, I am, but you know, I, I am very cautious in who I meet because I invested a lot of time in this particular person, my ex. So, you know, if I see any red flags, it's over. <laughs> I'm not enduring them. And plus, you know, I'm my more, main, main focus right now. Yeah, I want a companionship. I want a husband, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to take care of with me and my kids right now and serve god you know what i'm saying so if somebody comes a long way i know it's god i'm not doing it myself anymore i'm not gonna press the issue or do it myself i'm gonna let let it go i'm going to be on the direction of god if it happens it happens and it's gonna be right i'm not you know press okay. i mean I'm, i want a husband yeah eventually you know but well let me ask this question you have two-year-old twins Mm -hmm. now, you know, there are some men that may be concerned that you have mm -hmm. two-year-old twins. What would you say to that guy? Well, you know, I was married and my attention was to stay married. My attention was not to get divorced. My attention was, I did not know that my ex had another agenda. You know what I'm saying? He showed me a different part of him when he got released. I'm not staying with nobody who's cheating, who's a cheater or who who's really mean to me or, or anything. I'm not staying with nobody. It's over. I'm not, I'm done. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I have four kids before my twins. I have, um, a 27 year old son. I got a 24 year old son and I got a 18, 19. She Wait, just turned 19. Kids you, okay. I never even got there. How many kids do you have, Veronica? I have six. You, you have six kids? Mm-hmm. How old? You're 49? Yeah. 
I'll be forty. I'll be forty nine. I'm forty eight. I'll be forty nine in November. How many kids do you? Okay, you six kids. How old are your kids? My son is twenty seven. Twenty seven. And my other son, he's twenty four. And then my two daughters, nineteen and eighteen. And then my two year old. I was single. I was like before I met this guy in prison. I was single for years, years, and years. Celibate. I was. I was doing me. Listen, this woman, forty seven years old, with a two year old child. Oh my God. Take me to <laughs> shout out to my girl um kimberly shout out to kimberly ann in the chat she sent us that in the email kimberly ann you ain't right all right but <laughs> we all had a shout to mr x i know he go <laughs> uh, she, she had a kid at 45 44 years old she, that's what I, she 40 she 48 she'll be 49 yeah, for yeah, about 45, 46, she had a kid. She had a kid at 45 at the that's wicked. She told me I was single. Look at that steel shot. She up here scratching her head. I can't get past this wig action. What's what is that? It stinks so bad. What do that smell like? Huh? Like seriously, you stink and you and you're sick. She need help. This is, she need therapy. She need to get up off this off this internet with this madness. So here she is. Here's Kim. Kim uh, I'm gonna call you Kim. I don't. I'll be messing her name up. But Kim, come through. She hit us in the email with that. Like it's a whole song. It's actually like a two and a half minute song. Well, I just took a little snippet out of it and made a drop. But it's actually like a two or three minute song. It's like a real song. I don't know. It's a whole deal. I don't accept it. <laughs> I don't accept it. I don't accept. Do what Motown Pound Town. I won't accept that into my world. I won't. <laughs> so here we go. Ain't no better chat than the SBC Nation. Y'all off the hook. This uh, is insane. We so still we going? Go. look at that. It took us this long. We're about 10 minutes in, and we just found out she got six kids because she just been talking. Look at her face. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So, um, how many men do you have children by? Um, three. Oh. Um, oh, hold on. Okay, three, three minutes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been married? Yeah, this last marriage. That was my first marriage. The last. Okay, first marriage. Uh -huh. um, you've been married how many times? Just once. Oh, your last marriage. Okay, mm -hmm. and you are a photographer, Scorpio, mom to six by three men. Mary mm -hmm. was, and where do you where you call me from again? Michigan. Michigan. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Um, Veronica, what kind mm -hmm. of man are you looking for? A God fearing man, a honest man, a sincere man, a hard working man, somebody who doesn't have any baggage. Um, when I mean baggage, I don't mean like kids or anything. I mean got issues and problems that they need to be dealt with. Now, if you have issues and problems, if you're getting help or seeing a counselor or something, we can work through that. And if it's not really crazy, but you have to have your head on your shoulders. You have to know what you want. You know, um, I don't want to get into a relationship and, you know, that person really doesn't know if they want to be in a relationship or not, or if they have some issues or anything. So I need to have somebody that has a stable mind um yeah and no cheaters <laughs> and no narcissists because that's what my ex was a narcissist he was a narcissist and i know narcissist traits i know okay now nah, i know okay what <laughs> Shout out to Sago. I was off the screen for a minute. I clicked back on and I see. I like she talking. I look away. Shout out to Sago 1000. Okay. You heard enough, huh? Y'all don't like her demands? She just want a strong man. Uh, uh, what? Ambitious provider? No. <laughs> no. 
no it's just <laughs> listen it's just it's nice to just be short and stern at times just sag no <laughs> that's it no explanation just no <laughs> Oh, there we go. Shout out to Sagal. My apologies. She talked, she got off two about 20 or 30 more words than she should have. All right. There we go. <laughs> I like that, Sagal. It's no all 2024, huh? Drizzle, drizzle. No without explanation. That's tough to do. Whenever folks ask you to do some, you know, hey, can you help me move? You know, especially as melanated folk, we don't mind. We always like, no, I got to help my mom, you know, vacuum her rugs. No, get comfortable with just saying no. So here we go. Sagal says no. Here we are. This is Sparta, folks. Huh. What the fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, tell things to get brighter. Over. <laughs> Holy mm. cow. That's she said a lot, but something tells me there's a lot more left on that because it looked like she was just getting warmed up. She was just trying to put her thinking cap on. She said, Kenny, that ain't even half of it. <laughs> That's crazy. A lot of these women, the drama and trauma, that's the you know, the ongoing climax of their life. Just it's always it's got to be trauma and drama. Anything other that other than that is boring and mundane. They like ain't nothing going on. I'm just chilling in the house, eating ramen noodles, drinking on Coke 45s, and I'm bored. But whenever somebody come through, nug nug come through, shooting up the club, shooting up the house, you know that's that's exciting for them. That's how that's how they get down. Man, and shout out to Demarcus in the cash out. He said she was in the bathroom doing booger sugar. All right. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> My girl Monique come through in the chat with the twenty dollars. She says this is for the skip pot. So Monique, you got twenty in your back pocket moving forward in the show. Okay, Monique. Monique was begging not to skip her. More even Monique said she's out of seeing enough now. Yeah, you were saying don't skip her, and then she come fire a shot. She said, don't nobody shoot. Monique come out and said, don't nobody shoot. Relax. And then she started firing. I can dig it. I can dig it, Monique. She said, let me get my shots off first. There you go. <laughs> but now, you know what? Still got that magazine in your back pocket. <laughs> All right. And shout out to Zotan. Come through. He says, X, that's a Y. Y? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He talking about for her ex, as far as her ex boyfriend, he got question marks. Then he says, "That's a why." Why? Yeah, listen, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah, we don't know if it's her ex or a Y or a Z, you know. Yeah, X X X Y a Y Y. Where them at? <laughs> All we know is she down the bottomless pit. That's what mm. we do. Mm. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna keep it moving. Hit the like button. That was a treat, though. And shout out to Saggle. Shout out to Saggle coming through with the hundo. Oh, thank you. Yay, thank you. Yay, thank you. Woo, yay, thank you. To my day, I can go to work happy today. You hear me? I can go to work happy today. Nah, huh? <laughs> the Brocka baby got that uh, income tax check. <laughs> I got a house. She was showing her kitchen off. The Brocka's kitchen is laid, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that money gone, car crashed. Y'all done seen y'all done seen the peak. Now we on the decline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got like a uh, nice kitchen, nice brand new appliances. The broccoli. Yep. My, yeah. Yep. 
Yep, they're gonna tear it up. That's just that's just a nice rental. She just moved into a fresh quick flip and it looked like it's up. Yeah, I bet they're gonna tear that ish up in no time flat. <laughs> Die, baby. These folks is crazy. So here we go. Hit the like button. Um, if you missed last show, we did a hell of an exorcism with Diamond Mucho. We ain't doing that tonight. Those is like you can only do them up ever so often. All right. Yeah. Yeah. They can they can take their toll on you on your spirit. <laughs> yeah, Mucho was over here. Mucho down bad. Yeah. But. She was about to, she was throwing tantrums. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we experienced we experienced a lot, man. Mucho was up here going off the deep end. Then some young men showed up and she she shook right back into you know normalcy, if you will. Yeah. So I got back playing and joking. Yeah, after this, if you missed our last stream from Thursday. Yeah, check out like the last two hours. It was up and stuck. All right. That exorcism. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are priest. All right. Yes. Journalists. Yes. Lots of things. A lot of things. Bastards. All of <laughs> <laughs> So here we are. Husbands. Lots of things. All right. Yeah. Fathers. Woo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. The, <laughs> the bastard priest. That's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I like that. Like the boondock saints. <laughs> the bastard priest star yeah. having next to Mr. Walker. That's a hit. Come on, where Denzel? <laughs> <laughs> Many exorcisms. Yeah. Yes, yes, get familiar, god dang it. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in, folks. <laughs> We're back to 40 skips, 40 dollars skip. Hey, hey baby. My name is Ivy, but you pronounce it Eve. Okay, let me call you Eve. Eve is fine. E, okay, let me write that. E, I'm hoping I get it right. Eve. Yeah. Where are you calling me from? California. Okay, how old are you? 44. 44, what you do for a living? I'm a scheduler for physicians. Scheduler for physicians. Do you have any children? I do. Two. Two kids. How old are your two kids? 23 and 15. Both by the same man? No. No. Have you ever been married? No. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. So we got Eve, California. What part of California? I live in, in Los Angeles. Okay, LA. So Eve, LA, 44, Capricorn, a, schedule, um, a scheduler for positions? Yes, a physician scheduler. I work for you. Oh, oh, a physician scheduler. A yeah. Physician. All right, two kids, um, two different men never married. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? <laughs> well, this time I'm looking for someone that's settled. You've been here before? No, 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 I haven't. But oh, I'm you said this time. This okay. time around, in other words. Um, I will, I'm looking for someone that's a provider, someone that's God-fearing, uh, someone that is into me and only me, someone that wants a serious relationship, and um yeah that's pretty much it okay what do you do breaker someone that does not want to be provided someone that wants me to hold the bag which i don't want to do that um someone that is not truthful and someone that just does not know how to commit okay um should he look a certain way uh yes i do have a preference i do prefer a uh, tall uh, men, um, welcome to all nationalities. And um, but I do have a preference as far as like physique, maybe like more of a, I will say, in shape. In shape, okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, yeah, I think like maybe eighty k, a hundred k. I live in LA; it's pretty expensive. Here to the now, to the now, now, now. Here to the now. You better move. There's a place called U-Haul. You can put your belongings in and travel the country. <laughs> but <laughs> glory, we got a chat full of psychics, uh, <laughs> oracles, and all that. They calling it. They said, just come on with the 100K already, Bonquisha. She said, oh, you know, 80K, 100K, nothing major. 44. You got natural hair, huh? Stop right there. That is... <laughs> We can't confirm nor deny it. 
<laughs> but but natural it, ladies it, for huh? Now, listen, that take that headband off, and then we could come up with some. But it's an extremely strong chance. Here we go. I like it because it's not bone straight. It looks like it could have grown out of her head. It looks like it could have. So we it's that's cool. This is what we're saying. Like if you're gonna wear a weave and stuff like that, like that at least look like could have grow grow out of her head. So the illusion is okay. However, her being her real hair, probably not. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, this is bad. I tried to find something for you, sister, but so here yeah, we, we are. We got some super chats here, Mr. Walker. We actually missed a few, so let's go back. We apologize. We actually missed a few of these from the last sister. Appreciate you, Mr. Gino. Said she married Dookie Meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out to Joker Nutty Nate come through. He says in big dime voice, you're going to learn the hard way. I swear God, no, he got some super dummies out here, boy. I used to be one of them. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Joker Nutty Nate. <laughs> Shout out to Drew Bailey. Says she was a make me straight again type shorty for him. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Appreciate you, Tanya. Says her edges are already in the sub. Shaking my head. Who? This one or the last one? <laughs> I think all these is for the last sister. Okay. I want to see it. Yeah, no edges. Appreciate you, Emmanuel. Says Dream Girl Pound Town is nasty work. Motown Pound Town is. Evil. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. That's one of my favorite drops. I see. I said that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the brother Jay Gray. He says it's Velcro up under that wig. She could peel it back. <laughs> Shout out to Skitty Boy. He's I right, fellas. Bones and baloney or nug after lockup. Mm. Man, and no comment, man. I can't, I can't <laughs> do it. <laughs> Shout out to the brother Ramington. Uh gifted one single by choices membership. We appreciate you. Make sure whoever gets it. Thanks to Brother Ramington. Shout out to Dead Star. He says, Shorty built like the hamburger. That'll be this one here. Yeah, now we are. Uh, yeah, we come. Uh. <laughs> Shout out to Rich Chat Media. Says, She said, This time I want a provider because Nug Nug got the, got the cheeks for the low low. Yeah, they got kids. You know, they knocked her up, but they was broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just hunching on her, hunching her dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Dead Star says Grimace body ass B. <laughs> uh, yeah, stand up. Stand here. We about to see. We about to yeah. see. Shout out to Project Leroy coming through like he do. Says there's no such thing as a 40-year-old dime. She doesn't look like a 100 k female with two kids. No more than 40K at best, at absolute best. And then she gonna try to say, well, I live in LA and you know the cost of living. And we talk, we've talked about this, Bone Quisha. Watch mm -hmm. some of our move. You cannot afford to date in these areas. Go to Albuquerque. Go to um, mm -hmm. Biloxi or somewhere. There you go. There you go. Go on parts of PA out in the country where it's a lot of cornfields. You got a shot. Man. <laughs> Appreciate your dead star. Says Triceratop head ass. Yeah, my girl Sarah from Land Before Time. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Team Peterson. Been a member for eight months. We appreciate you, brother. He says, too many sisters suffer from hybrid Go on with your mess, Team Peterson. <laughs> this is hybristophilia. Uh. Hybristophilia. Yeah, Team Peterson. And all y'all be typing these uh, $5,000 words. Y'all wrong. <laughs> Here we go, man. <laughs> So you know you have to at least make a more than fifty thousand to have a somewhat of a decent lifestyle. Okay, so between eighty to one hundred k. Let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. Now Kim. you know you said he got to be in shape. So you in shape? I'm I'm working on it. I'm not okay. in the best shape, but I'm working on it. So can he be in the same predicament? He he can be as long as he's working on it. Okay. You know, we, we got to do so. Okay, this is the Kendrick. This is crazy because I, I didn't we see, gotta see. We got to see your legs, honey. Okay, yes. So let me get a good. Uh, I have to move the camera. So 
Let me pull my shirt down. My mom is staring at me like, "Are you? Can you? Do you think I'm doing this?" Okay. Okay. All right, boo. Ooh. <laughs> Pose on them. So I, I, okay. So wait. Look, Kendra. I've been working. It's all real. It's all there. We're working on it, so that's why I still have on my workout suit from earlier. Huh. Here to the now. To the now, now, now. Here to the now. She said it's all real. What else? What the hell else would this be? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what? Thank oh, you. Oh, real? <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> these women are guilty of drinking their own Kool-Aid. She that big old dookie booty back there is not what is hitting for, but they think it is. That's why she's like, it's all real. I know y'all like that back there. And guess what? It's all real. I have to pay for that. We ain't questioning that. We're not questioning none of that. We not. She got a high ass too. It's set up on like on the middle of her back. <laughs> listen, man. This ain't it, sisters. And listen here. She said she was just in the gym and she didn't take out her take off her workout uniform yet. If you are comfortable staying in your workout uniform after you don't worked out, you ain't worked out. That 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 uh sweat wicking spandex should be uncomfortable, and you should be trying to get it off because it got you sweat. You didn't you pour sweat into it, but you just walk around the house. So either you ain't work out or you walk around a little ripe. Which one? That part. <laughs> and we told y'all once before, man. So for the men all the way in the back, because the people in the back never pay attention. So it's for y'all. Someone asked me to try to cut my thighs. That's kind of hard for me to do my butt. You see, that's pretty easy, but the thighs. You see, I just, I look stupid. Got a big old booty and everybody says, she's a fine booty. The booty is where the doo-doo is, boy. Who do? She ain't working out. She got to pick one. Pick a struggle. Either you worked out and you stand there and you just, you up on Kendra Cam Funky because can't nobody smell you, or you ain't work out. I'm going to choose the latter. Y'all ain't working out. Here we go. Uh -huh. Sag on the assassin come back through with the 50 ball. Says, let's just go to the next person. Sagal, a man of many minimal words, but but uh, you know, yeah, he let his pockets do the talking for him. We appreciate you, Sagal. Ship out to here. Sagal, come back through, <laughs> empty the clip per usual. <laughs> and I see y'all in the chat saying, Big Band, yeah, they lining up, they lining yeah. up, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Divine Photos says, Modern women demands for men chick magnet, but loyal. Reform thug who love God, six figures but has time to date. Modern women to men, take me as I am. Man, they want today's men to defy time, space, and logic, but you're going to take them as they are. Mm -hmm. That part. <laughs> Appreciate you, Dead Star. Says, Shorty built like Patrick Starr with the wig. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Shout out to Art Bar J. Gifted one single by Choices membership. We appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Who's the master? Says, blowed out, broke with bastards, want an in shape 100K ninja. Please make it make sense, Kate. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Richard Media coming through like you do. Says, I'm working with Monique's $20 for the skip. She ain't working on nothing. Bye, Felicia. Skip, skip, skip. So there you go. We still got 40 in the skip pot, Richa. You and Monique. All right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ash Rogers. Says another late night snack for Nug Nug after 2 a.m. Mm -mm. mm -hmm. Appreciate you, Drew Bailey. Says she's an L.A. 2 baby daddy. A banger. She not getting no higher than that. Too much of a pretty, too much of pretty women in LA. And by the way, she talk a dama baby mama. She talk <laughs> a dama, what a dama baby mama. Yeah, she in LA. This is terrible. Over. Appreciate you, Jay Sahara. Says the booty is where the doo doo is, boy. <laughs> Straight up like that, brother. 
<laughs> hey, it's over. You need to move to like Youngstown, Ohio, Buffalo, New York. You know. There we go. What uh, is Puxatani? Is that a place where Puxatani Phil is? <laughs> yeah, all that. So Amish hey. country. <laughs> Listen, no, she need to go with a ratchet, the ghetto, the poorest places. Go to, you know, Eight Mile, Detroit, O Block, Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where they appreciate you at. Yeah, yeah, with their meat. Huh. But in the meantime, <laughs> over the hills and through the woods, folks. Yes, KF Classic, big blowed out sister. <laughs> I would love to know what guys are approaching her in LA. I would love to see it. Love to. I'm trying to tell you the details of a lot of these sisters' relationships would make y'all skin, y'all skin crawl, man. I'm telling you, it ain't what they make it seem to be. These sisters stay coming up here asking for the top one percent man, and they stay hunching on the bottom five percent man. <laughs> shout out to my girl rachel rachel come through in the cash app with the 25 dollars. says she's a blowed out wig wearing receptionist stop yo me but she is yeah uh, that part rachel rachel we appreciate you sister um hopefully your gear came in if not it'll probably be in probably by the morning I know you have ordered some uh, Fosachi gear, so let us know. There we go. Yeah, G Honda, the Fosachi movement continues. If y'all want the deets, got jump in the email for the details. Not you, G Honda. We know. We know. <laughs> that part. So we're going to keep the show moving. Hit the like button. We back to match play. We match playing. There is 40 in the skip pot. So here we are. Is that an auntie? Ooh. Let, she, listen here, I'm going to say this right now. This sister here, you know, ho, uh, she better yeah, gonna, be old. Gonna, it's, a, it's a gatekeeper or a king auntie. We're gonna learn okay. Hikara, <laughs> where are you calling me from? I'm calling from St. Petersburg, Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida. Yes. Um. Do you have any kids? I have four. Four kids. How old are you? I am 38 years old. 38. Yes. And what's your zodiac sign? Leo. Leo. So, Shakara, St. Petersburg, Florida. My four kids, 38. How old are your four kids? So, I have my two daughters, 19, 17. My two sons, 14 and 12. Okay. All by the same man? No. How many men? Four. Four. Have you ever been married? <laughs> um, I haven't. Okay. Um, and what do you do for a living? Shakara? Yes, Shakara. I'm an education director at a community center. Education director at a community center? At a community yes. center? Yeah. Okay. So, and where are you? Please, oh, St. Petersburg, Florida. We got yeah. Shakara, St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, 38 Leo, mom to four kids, education director. Um, mom to four kids by four men, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, just someone that's honest, down to earth. Um, I don't know that that just knows how to treat females. And I just feel like I've been running into like, you know, men that's into like alcohol all the time, drinking or smoking all the time. That's, that's a total deal breaker for me. So I just, I just want somebody who's just, God fearing. Um, that's the that's the top thing. Listen, I don't know where oh there you go, because I'm about to lose my mind. She I was that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say this woman better not come up here looking like somebody's grandma and be and be younger than 45. She 38, she our age again. Come on, we gotta do better. I was going to say that. I said, she better not be younger than 48. She's 38. So here we go. We're going to 
we grab these super chats and we're gonna see what she talking about. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate you, Jason Hara. Says the booty. Oh, we got that. <laughs> Shout out to the International Quiet Storm. Appreciate you. Says you know her outfit smelled like musty baked beans, hot pork rinds, and bad decisions, and a fake workout. <laughs> Appreciate to Rich Ave Media. Says O Block don't want her. Uh, I don't know. Appreciate you, Emmanuel. Says she respectfully looks in her 70s. 70s, man. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah, but just honest and just wants what I want as far as relationship, you know, ready to be in a relationship. Were you in a relationship with any of your children's dads? Yes, <laughs> all okay. of them. Oh, you was nice to all of them. Okay. Uh, what are your deal breakers? Um, just that um, always drinking, always smoking, lying. Um, I feel like that's. I don't ask for much. That's about it. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Uh, I don't really have a preference. Um. Just somebody that loves themselves and, you know, takes care of themselves and their appearance. Okay. And yeah. their appearance. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Mm. I would say 60. Make at least 60. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Hey, All right. Before she stand up. Ain't much here. She four for four. That I mean, that didn't took all of it up out of her. We talk yeah. about childbirth with four different men. Um, uh, this is what it looks like. Yes, this is how you end up 38 and woke completely out, looking like you're 48, 50. Yeah, nug nug four for four special. Go take it out of you every time. Drain the life clear up out of you. This is mm-hmm. bad. <laughs> Appreciate you, squeegee kid. The stat goat says, Mr. Snuffleupagus lashes. <laughs> mm. Money, 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 money. Shout out to the brother EJ Uno. He says, I'll never get used to these women having multiple babies by multiple men. Fo for fo is just classic. Whew. Appreciate you, the International Quiet Storm. Says, her forehead determined that age was a lie. <laughs> it's bad. Like I said, a lot of these, this ain't uncommon. This is kind of a theme. These women coming up here in their 30s looking like they're 50. You know, that's the modern melanated sister. Too much soda and Takis, man. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Drew Bailey. He says, she said run into equals ran through womanese learn it. Yeah, bonquisha mm-hmm. these. <laughs> Appreciate you, Lala. Come through with the $10 super sticker. Appreciate you, sister. Appreciate that. Money, 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 money. So stand up. Let's see what's here. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to give you some light. Okay. Woo, okay. Okay. We see you thick with it. Okay. Yes. I'm trying yes. to lose weight. So. so this is big, thick auntie. I mean, who on that camera? Listen here, who on that camera? It started panning back like a horror movie, man. But yeah, she she swole up. Let's get it understood. When she take them jeggings off, the way that flesh gonna spill outside them jeans is gonna be crazy. She listen, this is this that nug nug catnip. So the listen. What she's projecting right now, she going she fishing in the right pond. Just nug nug. Not yes. no 60k. She's tripping with that. Oh, uh, nug nug. He's sitting there like, yeah, that's more cushion for the pushing. And she got herself a fancy income tax couch. Look at that couch. Y'all know <laughs> that's that dang gone Bob's <laughs> Bob's furniture special, man. The boy nice though. Got the reclining, got the little cup holders. I see you, Bo Quisha. <laughs> yeah, Nug Nug coming through per usual. No bread, no water, just meat. That's it. Nug Nug going to put your fancy new couch through his paces. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this tape, I'm trying to get you some light. Okay. Woo, okay. Okay. We see 
see you thick with it. Okay, yes. I'm trying to lose weight, so. <laughs> we see you thick with it. So we got Shakara. Uh-huh. Who's with you? There's somebody bringing a camera close. It's my daughter. They, oh. they hyped me up. I'm I like, you got a whole was, production over there. I told them I was going to go to sleep, and they're like, no, you finna get out. You've been watching that show. So you're They said, on mama, you on the and, show. Okay. Right. All right. So when was your last relationship? Um, I would say about a year ago. A year ago. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About a year ago. A year ago. <laughs> okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I would say I'm impatient. <clears throat> I become clingy too fast. Um, and maybe I've been working on like a Sumi. I try to again. Assuming because I try, I try from being in past relationships, like I assume quick, you know, something if I'm seeing the same, like the same movement, like I'm seeing the person I'm involved with doing something that an ex used to do or something, I'm quick to like assume that it's because you know, it's they're doing the same thing that my ex was doing or something. Okay, so, so you make assumptions, so you gotta work on that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And why would it gotta be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm God fearing. I am honest, which I feel is the top thing. Um, family oriented. I support. Um, and I'm gonna love you for real. <laughs> it is. You know. She's gonna love you for real. Yeah. So we got to we got Shakara, 60K. She, oh, no, make at least 60K. She's in St. <laughs> Petersburg, Florida. Um, she's 38, a Leo. What's the age range you would date? <sighs> I would say 37 to, like, 45. 37 to 45. Um, mine of four kids. That's where she wrong. You better be looking at 55 to 65. Sure. <laughs> sure. 50 yeah at best yeah i'm thinking retirement home nursing home bay ho hospice bay yeah you need to go ahead and try to rob a tomb or something you fo 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 out here in these streets ain't no hope <laughs> ain't none this is terrible <laughs> um do you want more kids no <laughs> no i don't should he be in st petersburg florida um St. Petersburg or Tampa area, like in not too far, like it no more than 25 minutes away. Okay. Yeah. Not more than 25 minutes away. Okay, got you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. So how can the guy reach out to you? Um, my Instagram and Facebook is Shakara Parks. That is C H I K A R A P A R K S. All right. Well, listen, yeah. girlfriend, I'm wishing you the best. And she sat there and said her teenage daughter, you know, I, I guess her 17-year-old daughter is holding the camera, or however old she is. That, I mean, you watching your mom, this ain't a good example. It's not. It's really not. Oh, shoot. She done, she done supposedly coaxed her mom to come up here on the Kendra show. How bad does it have to be in the household where your daughter is like, Mom, you need to go on Kendra and find you a man, find us a stepdaddy. These these are not normal happenings. You can't make this make sense. There are no happily ever afters with this, man. Yeah. Fo fo fo. It's a joke. So as they say it's fo fo fo. We we just it's just entertainment at this point. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Appreciate your chat media. Says she is not a match play contestant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this the big fish is for the night. <laughs> Appreciate you, Jihanda. Says, foe for foe. Four men's. Looking like baby of dinosaur show. Lying about your age. Is this camera, homie? It's always on you, Jihanda. Man. <laughs> Appreciate you, squeegee kid. He says, it's been a steak leg field night on SBC. What's a steak leg? Big sisters. Yeah. Coming on steak. Here. <laughs> Appreciate your international quiet storm. Says her knees gave up for the 99 and the 2000. Oh, she better not try to do no squat. Oh, 
Shout out to Q2, what it do? Came through with the 20 ball, said this is for the past pot. <laughs> and now we got 60 in the pot. Okay. Shout out to Skinny Boy, says I right, blowed out Brenda, a fo for fo for the streets. Huh. Blow it up, Brenda. See what I'm saying? Nug Nug got some. No comment. I can't. I ain't picking that. It's nasty. <laughs> money, 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 money. We appreciate your med school come through. Says she out to the best channel. Oh, shout out to the best channel on YouTube. Keep cooking and being consistent. And this channel will go far. Respect, SBC. We appreciate your med school. Thank you for that. Thank you. Appreciate that, sister. As far as she goes, we're going to throw everybody down the hole. Keep it moving. Glory. What <laughs> fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Things get brighter. <laughs> that last tune at the end. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. <laughs> no, it won't. Not at the bottom of that pit. Only darkness. <laughs> That's it. So they earned it though. So yes. Hence, single by choices. Uh drop kick in the pit by choices, <laughs> not by choice. <laughs> that part. So hit the like button for y'all end up in the bottomless pit. The people who didn't hit the like button. There you go. Come on now. Hit the hit the like button and the subscribe button. Those things cost you absolutely nothing. Just maybe like 0.5 of a calorie. There you go. Last night, we spent at least half hour talking about fitness and eating right. Hitting the like button and the subscribe button allegedly possibly could burn a fraction of a calorie. There you go. Get your workout on. <laughs> so, that part. <laughs> appreciate you cooking with... Appreciate you cooking. Says, <laughs> move out the way. I want to be a stepfather. Whoa, you better slow your roll. <laughs> mm, yeah. Caution, Will Rogers. All yeah. Right. With the foe for foe? Yeah. Danger. Danger. So here we go. We'll get back into it. We're back to $40 skips. I know we got something in the skip pot, so let us know. This sister here, she actually was up here the other night. We reviewed her, and she's back up here. This the woman, we we caught her outside the nightclub, and she was holding the – she got that brother to hold the Kendrick Cam phone for her. That simple. Oh, yeah. Okay. Glorious. So she back up here. Here we go. Yeah, she is. Look, look Kendra, it's loud because I'm in Puerto Rico. It's loud because I'm in Puerto Rico. But I was just on there last week. You got an hey, update? How you doing? Happy anniversary. Thank you. I had some braids in. It was a little rough. Now I got a wig on. Okay, well, are you enjoying Puerto Rico? It is. It's really, really nice. Um, We just got here actually today. And we just kind of been sightseeing to the beaches. Now we're like at the club. But I just, I just wanted to get on while I was out here at Puerto Rico. And I just wanted to say hey. Oh, girl, okay. Are you coming for an update? I mean, you should be looking at the men in Puerto Rico, no? I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of something, something out here. But I don't know. I don't really think I'm seeing anything I like. Well, girl, you just got there, you said. Well, you want to do it again? I mean, I do because I didn't. I was on there, it, it, it was okay, but I think if you're not kind of like highlighted, you get overlooked a little bit, if that makes sense. Okay, well you gotta have no music, so you gotta go somewhere with no music and I need good life. I wish I was in my damn world. Give me one second, I think I found some lighting. Hold on, let me see, let me see. I think I found some lighting. One second, one second. Oh, I found a lot of lighting right here. Let me see, this might work. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. okay. This this looks like this might work. This okay. is just a little up the street. Okay. All right. Yeah. What's the name, baby? I'm Francine. Francine, I live in North Carolina. Carolina. I live in North Carolina, but I'm in Puerto Rico right now. Okay. Carla, 
That's from Puerto Rico. Um, yes. How old are you, Francine? I am 36. Hello, 36? Yes. Okay, what do you do for a living? Make sure you don't have your head cut off and you gotta stop moving. Oh, okay, 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 I'm gonna stop moving. I'm, okay. I'm a licensed nail technician. And then I also work as a peer support specialist, which specializes in mental health and substance abuse. Okay, peer support specialist. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aquarius. Okay, don't have your head cut off, okay? Okay, what you need me to do? Bring the camera up so your head's not cut off. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that better? Yeah. Do you have any kids? I have one. She'll be 16 in August. Okay. So, hell, yeah. this woman, she was just up here last week. Now she's back while on vacation. You can't make this up. It's, this is sad. Absolutely sad. <sighs> you out, you know, across the pond, Puerto Rico, you know, a tropical paradise, if you will. And you just, and you going to call Kendra. You're going to call back to the States. You done left. <laughs> Just let's get at you. You done left the states to call back, you know, respectfully to the states, to LA. Say, hey, Kendra, I'm in Puerto Rico on vacation. Kendra, like, why are you calling me? You got a man? She's like, ah, you know, I'm here as guys, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all said it in the chat. The guy that she won't ain't approaching her. Yeah. And they never will. Not, not for no relationship. You might smooth talk her, you know, to some some back alley action as y'all keep hitting towards. But yeah, this is sick, man. Calling calling a dating show. This this is a dating show. Calling a dating show while on vacation. Check desperation. And shout out to Rachai. I I see you all got the skip. I know y'all got the skip pot. So let us know. Let us know what y'all doing with her. Eyes play. Continental United States. How about that? <laughs> Tired of y'all. Everybody dang on. <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. Says she's in old San Juan near the town square. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Yeah, let us know, Richa, if y'all getting off of her. We're going to let her go. <laughs> I, and Juicy, um, have you ever been married? I've never been married. Okay. So we got Francine, North Carolina, Puerto Rico right now. Um, I guess you're on vacation. I it's a friend's birthday. Um, last year we were in St. Thomas around the same time. Um, Cinco de Well around Cinco de Mayo. So she wanted to do Puerto Rico um, this time because I was just here in February. Okay. So I worked. They they came out here and, and we're okay. To okay. Okay, girlfriend. I just all you gotta say yes. Thirty six Aquarius, a now technician, and a peer support peer support specialist. Right. Yes. Okay. And I'm also a 16 year old. Okay, honey, what kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for a man that's tall. I would like um like six. Six feet would be really, really nice. Um, a man with a nice smile, um, good skin, a hard worker, um, hustle mentality, very big business minded, a provider, but also, you know, I don't mind helping and taking care of stuff too. I'm in the relationship as well. Okay. What are your deal breakers, honey? My deal breakers is lying, cheating, cheating, and lying. <laughs> All right. Should he look a certain way? <laughs> um, I just again just nice clean skin, um, nice smile, because if you take care of yourself in in the inside, it shows on the outside. Okay, okay. Now, you, what is there a money requirement? Um, for me, no, not really. Long as we can like build together, figure things out together, it's a lot easier to do it together. Okay. All right. Let's do the Kendra cam. Yes. No problem. I'm going to see if this man will hold the camera for me, and I did this last time, so hopefully you did. it works again. You did. Oh, you were the guy. You were the girl that said the guy has to be secure. <laughs> Yeah, I got the random guy to hold the camera. Excuse me. Sorry. No, you were, I, I made you a highlight. You oh, know, you were, I, don't, I don't think I was. You're on YouTube. Oh, maybe. Can you hold the camera for me really fast? I'm so sorry. Thank you. Can, you can, ain't sorry. You, me in light, or do you need someone right here? You got to wipe, you gotta wipe, wipe your camera. Oh, I got to wipe it. I got to wipe it. 
This is terrible. No, I, you're on YouTube, too, but I, I believe you're on Facebook, too. Bring the camera down. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, okay, I remember you. You Okay, so here's the deal. Francine, you yes. said that you might have not been on Instagram, but you're on YouTube, and I think you're on Facebook, because you said that you want a man that is confident and won't mind that you get attention. Yeah, because that happens. That happens. Yeah, that happens. You keep asking these guys to hold the phone. You say, ah, oh, this woman. Yeah, this is terrible. I'm so over this. She keep this is again ho, having guys hold this phone. That's that's as much action as she gonna get. Sitting here and having random guys hold the single guys, random single guys out here at the bar just like her in the clubs looking for meet to meet action. You got them holding their phone. They should have smacked it right out her and said, "Get out my face." <laughs> Man, appreciate you cooking with Babajad. I'm gonna try to say it. <laughs> Says it's cooking with Bab G Day. Okay, <laughs> and Say I was Baba, just being Baba, Baba, Baba G. Baba G Day. That's wild. And I was just being sarcastic about wanting to be a stepfather. I hope you know that, brothers. No man wants all oh, we know. We know, man. <laughs> Appreciate your Frederick Howard. Says my chick runs the streets at night and I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. shout out to b white says social media done played out going on vacation yes it has appreciate you tracy in been a member for 10 months one of our day ones says tears on her pillow in puerto rico that's one of them that sounds like a little zane book <laughs> Appreciate your Bernie's Road Book Tour. Says she's strictly for the meats. No bread or no water. Meats for the streets. So here we go. Like we said, there is 60 in the skip pot. Let us know what y'all doing. Here we go. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm happy you called me back because you're definitely a highlight on YouTube. I got to check Facebook. And a lot of the YouTube men said that you seek attention because the same thing you did last time is you had a guy hold the camera for you. Yeah, I wasn't catching that, Richardo. Yeah, I wasn't catching that. Yeah, there we go. I see it now. So, over for this, sister, folks. Yeah. Second. <laughs> well, don't we got a rule? Don't we got a rule for these, you know, double time Kendra contestants? And she didn't even got an update. This is again, second time attempt. I think she said the last time she was in a different location. Now she had another place. This is Travelisha Contesta here. Every time she come on Kendra, she on vacation somewhere. This is sick. This is sick. Yeah, her, her pillows definitely soak with tears. We just confirmed that. Yeah, FYI, if y'all got um, skips pending, make sure y'all drop in the skip emoji in the chat. Just keep dropping mm -hmm. it. We'll eventually see it, but that's the easiest way. Just drop the skip emoji. There you go. But yeah, so for this sister. Appreciate your divine photos. Says, as Squeegee Kid is right. She looking for a viral moment, just like all of the Kendra contestants. They don't want love. Attention is their currency. Now we starting to make sense of this. Now that makes sense. Appreciate you, the rogue one. Says, it's been a week. Take a hint, shorty. You ain't it. There you go. That part. So... In the meantime, I see y'all been dropping the pound town shorty. So it's over for her. I need to eat me out. Hi, I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? Why the niggas ain't getting ratchet? Huh? My son need a new baby. Yeah, too many bitches. Where the niggas at? Huh? I'm trying to get a nigga that coochie stretch. Yeah, I'm trying to get a nigga that coochie stretch. Yeah. You know that your head's too bad. Yeah. I like a nigga with a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Pound Town Shorty wouldn't have been in Puerto Rico calling nobody. She'd have been back in that old big old dookie dunk truck right up on uh one of them brothers. <laughs> so here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. I want to say we got the feature, folks. It's time. 
We back to a hundred dollar skip, hundred dollar match play. Hit the like button. Here we go. Free. Free. Hello? 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 Oh, you look ready. Yes. Yeah. You look cute. What's your name, love? Azana. I was kind of um you accepted me on what's it? Facebook, but my camera was off. Okay. Well, you're here now. Yeah. Azana, where are you calling me from? You look ready. I love this. Yes, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? 22. About to be 23 next month, though. I'm, my, my birthday is May 6th. Okay. Okay. So you, 21 is the age requirement. Shout out to yeah. you, Taurus. Yeah. Do you have any kids? No, zero. I don't want no kids either. You want no kids ever? No. Okay. Um, I got two cats on the way, though. You have two cats <laughs> on the way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Azana, Atlanta, Georgia, 22, Taurus, no kids. What do you do for a living, honey? Um, I own a business and I'm also um, in real estate right now. What kind of business do you own? It's like a um, a virtual call center, so people kind of like work for me. Okay, virtual call center. That sounds mm -hmm. good. All right, let's do it. So we have Azana, Atlanta, Georgia, 22, Taurus, no kids, owns yeah. a business, a virtual call center, and um, does real estate, has no kids, nor does it want kids. So do you want a guy with kids? Would you, would you date a guy with children? I mean, preferably because if I don't want no kids, he got his le his legacy out the way. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared to a girl. What kind of man are you looking for, a girl? Um, I'm just looking for a nice, generous man. And um, I prefer white men and Asian men. So, I mean. <laughs> Here we are. 22 year old little sugar baby she come up here playing and joking and mm -hmm. this is her lane maybe though maybe this is her lane your sugar baby it is what it is there we go she, she want brad or jet lee so there we go now why why are we calling this woman a sugar baby 22 y'all see the demeanor she don't want no kids listen to how she talks she don't want no kids and she want a guy that's generous you ain't about to pop no baby in her and you better come with a bag. That's what generous mean, i.e. sugar baby vibes for sure. And as Mr. X said, no wait. It just depends on what else she's about to ask for. But that just very well may be her lane. No shade yet. Cook. <laughs> Appreciate you, Drew Bailey. Coming through like you do. Says, I realized back in the day, women wore their pants on their hips or right under and men wore their pants on their belly buttons. Why is her pants on her chest? <laughs> Talking about the mm -hmm. <laughs> that part. So here we go. <laughs> Hit the like button. We're gonna let her cook. <laughs> Let's get into it. You prefer a white man. Tell me why. Because they just like they're just really nice to me. Like when they come up to me in public, they're nice. When we go on dates, they're really nice. Yeah. So are you saying when you your experience with black men haven't been the same? Yeah, no, they're crazy. The black men are crazy. So if the white men, so you haven't found one to settle down with, but you have enjoyed dating them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm only 22, so, you know, a lot of people come up to me every day. So I'm just trying to find the perfect match for me. And she said, black men are crazy. We were just up here last night on the Regal Rumble. Shout out to my guy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. I keep talking about that video about that girl. Sade, mm -hmm. whatever her name is, and she about her age looked like her, a young, pretty black girl. She was 19 mm -hmm. and she only wanted Brad. And now they finding her body parts all throughout Milwaukee. All right. But but melanated men are crazy. Continue. <laughs> Ooh, child. Now you know you're gonna get some feedback saying that you prefer a white man. Well, it is <laughs> White and Asian. So, is, do you, does a black man have the chance or no? I mean, if he's like Kanye West, if he's like Kanye West. <laughs> I don't get it. What what characteristics of Kanye West do you want in a black man? That money. Oh, oh the money. Yeah. So, you really want a white man or an Asian man because you feel like they have more money. No, because they're nicer, and then it's just like, it comes with them, like, they just know, oh, I got to go out here and get a job, and if I want a woman, then 
I'm about to provide for her and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's keep going. What's your deal breakers besides black? Um, abusive. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just abusive because um, crazy out here, especially in Atlanta. Okay, should he be in Atlanta? Um, no, I like to travel, so I'm I'll be out here. All right. Now you already said you prefer a white man or an Asian man. The next question is, should he look a certain way? Um, I like them in a gym because I actually I, I be going to the gym almost every day, four six times a day. Even if it's just running on a treadmill, I be going to the gym. I you know I have a nice fit body, so I would like my significant other to have a nice body too. So he has to go to the gym. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's kind of get here. Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. How much money should he make? At, at least. 175. Okay. At least 175K. Yeah. All right. We got Azana, Atlanta, Georgia, 22, tourist, no kids, owns her own business, works in real estate. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. <laughs> okay. You look really okay. cute. I like your outfit. Thank you. Okay. So. She down in Atlanta. She got the view like Kendra G. She says 175K minimum, and she gonna get Brad now. Take me to Pound Town. Take me to Pound Town. Mm, Here we are. This is unfortunate. I keep saying it. Why can't we ever seem to, you know, display a young, she 22, a young, childless, attractive woman that ain't completely full of themselves, that hasn't completely drank their whole own pitcher of Kool-Aid. This is crazy, man. She's straight, straight sugar baby. She ain't she ain't even she don't even care. She's like, I, I want to, as long as you got bread like Kanye West, it's about the money, that money yun. Ain't no fun yun unless you got the money yun. <laughs> that part. So here we go. Hit the like button. All right, you look good. All right, let's talk about age. You're 22. What's the age range you want to date? Um, Like 29 to 40. You want to go older, 29 to 40. Um, When was your last relationship? I never had a relationship. So you've never had a man claim you as his girl? No. So what happened with the white men? I just I just didn't like them like that. Like I like, you know, not really. I didn't like, like, like them like that. You just said that the experience was better. They were nicer. They were nicer than your experience with black men. So yeah. why didn't they ever end up in a relationship? I mean, I mean they always wanted a relationship, but I was just like, no. Why why okay, okay so why was you like no? Because they just like some things they just need to get together in their lives, and it was just it was just wasn't like a perfect perfect match. So what was the disconnect? It was just like they they was out there cheating. They wanted to oh explore other women. I'm like that's fine too, but you can't be. This is your experience with oh, white men. Yeah. So the white men were cheating, and they were out there with other women, but. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just tell me, what's your experience with the black man? Abusive as fuck, verbally, mentally. I had to call a couple. Co- I, I like to call the cops, so I called the cops. So they asked a couple times. Okay, so the white men were nicer, but they didn't want to. They were out with other women. The white men were nicer, huh? I got forty dollars. Forty dollars today. And if you nasty, I'll throw in 60. If you nasty. Wow. Uh, yeah. Nicer. They were nicer. Hey, shout out to Brad and Chad and Ming and them. She said they nicer. But here she is, never been in a relationship, but she keep meeting all these nice, non-melanated men. This is this is a this is a a light and airy three o four. She just a three o four full of life. Yeah, glory to her, man. It's a long road ahead of this one. 
Yeah. And the last sister says, it's funny. This remind me of that self-hating woman we had up here. We did a, the long video. It's like over an hour long. And she, she had nothing to say good about black men. I and remember that. She was saying the same thing, though, Kendra. She was saying the white men are treating her the same way, mm -hmm. but it's a little. They are glazing her buns gracefully, though. But it's the same. They they do. They say the same stuff. It's laughable. Like she twenty two. I'm trying to sit here and think like that. She does not know any better, but she really thinks she hot ish out here. Twenty two. She a whole harlot, young harlot. She saying she ain't trying no kids. This is a mercenary. Ladies and gentlemen, Fisha ass. This is the T2000. Terminator ain't got nothing on her. This is it. This is your modern day mercenary. And she just young enough and light and airy enough for somebody to F around to find out. Appreciate your ass, Rogers. Says another Lori Harvey looking for play. Yeah, I see what you say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate your B. Wyatt. Say easy pickings. For a serial deleter, Brad, unfortunately. We hope not, man. Appreciate you, Coffee Killer. Says, why is her face lighter than her body? Could be a number of reasons. <laughs> Appreciate you, Project Leroy. He says, I'm getting some vibes. Ford Escort vibes. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Escort. Appreciate you, Divine Photos. Come through. Says, what these divestors get twisted is brads has a fetish to do weird things to sisters and Asians aren't attracted to melanated women in the end they lose yeah bukaki look it up <laughs> man like you said these women become fetishes like like i said we can't speak in absolutes they True. be she get what she getting she ain't gonna get no marriage but yeah, she get passed around by brads and them down in atlanta There's some asian brothers down there trust me yes that's what she begging for that treatment. She up here talking about it's about the money. They hear that. Like, okay, transactional. All right, listen here. Come through. Come down to Dubai. I'm going to pay you 25 racks and you getting the doo-doo treatment. All yeah. that. Yeah. So she on these apps and, you know, she fishing on these dating apps and she going, mm -hmm. she in Atlanta, she going to them hookah bars and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, you know. It's unfortunate. Y'all better save y'all daughters. There's no y'all know what's at the end of this yellow brick road. Heart heartache. That's yeah, it. yeah, and yellow fluid and brown doo doo. <laughs> Appreciate you, Chubby. Says Kendra D date Kendra G dating show is the best on an internet for delusional women. This is why I'm officially part of the Drizzle Drizzle movement. Okay, Maya. <laughs> We appreciate your project, Leroy. He says, sunshine from Harlan Nights. Oh, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie's a road book tour. We appreciate you. Says, ghetto gagger. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That part. So here we that. go. Hit the like button, folks. And the black men were abusive. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you never had a relationship. Yeah, but um, also, I feel like because they were younger, the people I was really dating was younger. So that's why I'm like kind of going like older, like max 35, 45, so maybe, maybe they're a little more mature and they want to settle down a little bit. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we're we going to try it out though. <laughs> so, okay. So when was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. No, I don't Okay, she three knows. flaws you have to work on. Um, three flaws. I'm an introvert. Um, I like money a lot. You like what? Money a lot. And the third one. So are you calling uh, the fact that you like money a lot, you're calling that a flaw? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Okay. And what's your third flaw? And they need to go to jail. Fuck. Oh, my third flaw. Sorry. Uh, what's my third flaw? Mm, oh, I don't like going out in public that much. You don't like? I'm like what? That, that, that's that's kind of the first one. Let me get you another one. Let me get you another one. Um, I don't know. 
their flow. I like TikTok a lot. I'll be on that bitch a lot. That's their flow. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm funny, I'm nice, and I'm like a cat. A warm and cuddly next to you. Okay. Azana? <laughs> yes, Azana, yes. Azana. And this is why in some societies, they have things like arranged marriages, right? When a man, this is his daughter, you can't let your daughter move because more than likely she ain't from Atlanta. She from a small town in Ohio somewhere and they'll move down to Atlanta and do whatever the hell they want to do at 19, 20, 21, 22. And this is what you get. And it's why the community in shambles because this woman ain't built in no family. She's a mercenary. And this is why cultures, if this was a man, an Indian family, they would arrange her and get her married to a good guy. But here we are. Yeah, this is prototype 304. Prototype. It don't get no worse than this. And she's saying it. The confessions are spewing out. She says she, she liked money too much. That's all I need to hear. It's all about the bread. Have money like Kanye. One of her flaws is she she's she likes money too much. You do anything for a dollar. Do anything for a C note. But at what cost, young mercenary? These sisters going to end up crying the blues down the road, man. It's over for this. But this is it. That's why I feel bad for today's men. This is what's out there. 22 years old and they talking like this. What I tell heathen queen? She said that a, a 23-year-old woman will accept a proposal from a 25-year-old man. I said, yeah. If he, you know, making $10,000 a week playing Madden on YouTube, because all these sisters want is the bread. Ain't no fun yun without the mun yun. That part. So this is a mercenary hyena in in their youngest form right here. All right. Her prime. This is prime. She 22. Prime. This is it. She can be no more prime than she currently is. This is it. And look at her. This is her. This is Super Saiyan Sugar Mama Bonquisha. Sugar Baby Bonquisha. Can't tell her nothing. <laughs> And this the kind of girl going to have her birth control and plan B's on deck until she meet a particular guy. And she going to let you. Huh. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me. You feel me? She adamant. She said, I don't want no kids. This is the mercenary, man. <laughs> this is crazy. So we got a Zana, Atlanta, Georgia, 22 tourists, no kids, 29 to 40. Uh, she owns her own business virtually, a virtual call center. Also in real estate, uh, prefers a white man or an Asian man, and prefers he makes 175k. Would yeah. you date a man that made less, or that is the minimum? No, no. Because I'm 22 and I, you see the view? Don't play. <laughs> yeah, clock it. Don't get it. <laughs> so you see the view? You don't play. 175k to start. Uh, prefers a white man or an Asian man, and prefers he makes 175k. Would yeah. you date a man that made less, or that is the minimum? No, no. Because I'm 22 and I, you see the view? Don't play. <laughs> yeah. Like it. No, let's get it. <laughs> so. so you see the view, don't play. 175k yeah. to start. Yes, to start. Yes, yes, ma'am. All, right. All right, let's do it. How could the guy reach out to you, love? On uh, Instagram, the Azana West. <laughs> Azana West. I love these comments. Oh, and oh is that why you like Kanye? Because your last name is West. No, that's just like, I don't know. Okay. For the guy that can afford her. I was like the first, I'm sorry. For the white guy or Asian man that can afford her, because you got to make at least 175K, is T-H-E-A-Z-A-N-A-W-E-S-T. We're going to go, but what would you say to the people that will say 175K is crazy? Um, You don't have to get on my DMs and... Yeah, I just want what I want. 
There you have it. Okay, well, will you keep me posted, love? Okay, I got you. <laughs> bye, baby. Thank you, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a prototype sugar baby like i said she gonna ride that out until she can't no more folks huh. mm -hmm. you here trying to be all light and airy i'm here for it she's selling it she's selling what she's selling doing a good job there's somebody out there for her is some goofy <laughs> here's here we go here we go these sugar babies up here talking about how they love money. They are begging for a narcissistic man. You're like, all right, you like bread? I'm going to give you bread. And you're going to do exactly what I say when I say you better not say nothing that I don't agree with. That's that's the funny hoodoo. They up here, they complain about it. But with their demeanor, they attitude, and they arrested development, they begging for narcissists. Like I said, two things is true. When you get a woman like her, I don't have no smoke for this woman. You men, y'all need to wisen up. These women could do whatever they want to do. If y'all mm -hmm. going to keep paying her rent in this $3,000 a month apartment and funding her lifestyle, you got no smoke for her. That's y'all. There you go. Yeah, she ain't. she's not paying for that apartment. She got all her bills being paid by other men, and it's all on her face. And as Gavin said, I agree. So I ain't got too much smoke for her. She going to do what she going to do. She just better not come back to the dating market later down the road as other sugar babies have. Talking about they ready to settle down now. What can they do? <laughs> Ride it out. Accept your fate. That part. <laughs> Appreciate your RMRJ. He gifted one single by Choices membership. Make sure you thank the brother, whoever got it. Appreciate you, Drew Bailey. Been supporting your interest all day. Says North GA Atlanta Blade Walker, not MLK Blade Walker. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appreciate you, Project Leroy. Says her being a future lawyer? Cap. Oh, yeah. Was it legally blonde? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Joker Nutty Nate. Says it's a 22. Man. <laughs> Shout out to Skinny Boy. Says, all right, fellas. Passport for Keisha or Trivester Trina? Listen here. This is crazy. I'm scared of Trivester Trina. That's a wicked, wicked mercenary. Need, listen here. Two, two hard questions, Skinny Boy. I can't answer none of them today. <laughs> Appreciate you, Drew Bailey. Says Cali South Figueroa Street. Street. <laughs> Cali South Figueroa Street Streetwalker. She a buster. What's a buster? So here we go. This is her Instagram here. There ain't much on it. There's a few photos. I guess she likes to travel like most women with her zesty friends. And, and natural. What did I? Listen, I said it. I said it. Today's modern melanated woman can say what y'all want. Y'all love alternative lifestyle brothers. Y'all love them. Y'all love them. I don't know why. What y'all do? Especially the younger. She's 22 years old. Hell, she all, I would say anybody below the age of 30, I'm not surprised. That's, That's they part of that culture. They accepted it. That's because they, today's modern women be abusing them dudes. Yeah, they, they be using them for practice and stuff. The jig is up, Bone Quisha. We know what you did. They don't count it as a body. They're like, oh, he was, he a rainbow boy. You know, yeah, it don't count. <laughs> so this is her. No black men. Y'all don't be mad. Don't be triggered. She ain't for y'all. Let her divest. Let her go over there to Brad and Chad and the Asian guys and do her thing. The only thing is just don't allow her to come back. Let her do what she mm -hmm. want. There you go. That's it. That is it. My man Q2 came through late. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah that's it that's most of her instagram uh i see she got she got a couple things tagged up here tiktok uh oh a couple things but <laughs> no link in the bio <laughs> listen this woman 22 years old if y'all didn't read between the lines on what she just said for the last 20 minutes she said what she said so if you're gonna go near yay she ain't she ain't lie she ain't hold no punches she said she loved money. She said it. 
And like I said before, these sisters going to throw that back in your face. Don't try to change her. Turn no 304 to no housewife. She going to say, I told you when you met me, Brad, I liked money. Now buy me a Birkin or get out my face. <laughs> that part. So, yeah. Yeah, women like her is what it is. That's the date market, fellas. You know, mm -hmm. she definitely ain't. I mean, ain't a wife. It ain't a wife. She no. young. She misguided. I would say this is probably 80% of women her age act just like her. That's, that's, that is an observable reality, Mr. X. Hate to hate to admit it, but it really is. That's ladies, stop being so narcissistic in your early 20s and then thinking you could play makeup in your late 20s, 30s, into your 40s. It ain't gonna work, it's not going to pan out for you. Use these, use this age to land you a good solid man. Y'all can ride off into the sunset instead of just using your cuda cat as leverage for trinkets because that's what she's doing. Well, at the very same time, this is it. This drizzle, drizzle. This is the day in pool. Like Heathen Queen said last night, ain't nobody getting married. This is more or less what it is going to look like in 10, 20 years. Y'all better get conditioned. That's my thing. I'm not thinking about the past. I'll be thinking like more forward, like where are things going to be? so many people are worried about trying to go back to traditional times mm -hmm. that's so far dead and gone it's never coming back this right here is the new norm y'all better start accepting it and move accordingly and for the married folks just be happy you're married single folks god bless you there you go yeah ain't no going back that humans don't do that ain't no going back and and recouping what we have lost we're moving forward i believe that most relationships gonna become it's gonna be straight contracts like once they start getting serious whether it's sugar babies and gay whatever ain't gonna be it's just gonna be contract agreements like we live together you pay half i pay half and and people ain't gonna be divorces it's gonna be breakups due to voiding the contracts it's just gonna get wicked because don't nobody trust no one there's zero trust out in the dating market zero trust and this is off of her instagram story on that live okay i promise this one is the last one but she was like oh my gosh oh you want them to make 175 or whatever i was like mm, you'll see the view babe. but what you have to make to have the view i can tell you actually 120 thousand. so why wouldn't don't hit me up then i can i can show you invoices but I bet you won't be able to pay them. <laughs> and my cat's coming tomorrow too, so. I have furniture. I don't have out yard, backyard. This is her. She's an obnoxious thing. She come on here. And like you said, how she's acting, she's planning to. Brad and Chad and Asian guys, they see that as feminine. They like that yeah. kind of goofy stuff. This is fetish. This is fetish work. And like she playing it too, and she ain't nothing but a fetish. Fetish mama. All fetish all the time. I bet you won't be able to pay them. <laughs> and my cat's coming tomorrow too, so I have furniture. I don't have out yard, backyard, uh cookout shit and put your fucking TV on that shit. So, Miss Toler, I can show you the invoice because that actually came with the couch. I actually bought that with the couch, and the couch is a little bit bigger, so it comes a little later. And I'm Gen Z, so obviously I'm buying everything online. So that's her. Um, that was after the Kendra show. So after the Kendra show, they were trolling her. She went online. They was like, you know, why you want a man making one seventy five? That's all she likes to get glazed by. <laughs> That's amazing. Ain't no hope for this sister, man. They gonna end up lifeless and empty in a couple years. Yeah, this fetish thing, it's only one end game for it, man. But glory to them, they can have at it. They make it, they make it look good. 
huh? Hundred twenty five thousand dollar views, ordering all your furniture off of Timu, shopping like a billionaire. Glory to y'all. Y'all can have it. I'm an old married man. <laughs> we appreciate you, Drew Bailey. He says Cali South Figaro Street. We got that one. <laughs> Man, big shout out to Q2. What it do? Come through late in the show with the hundred ball. We appreciate you, brother. Says she like money, but the only thing she got for sale is Kudakata. She is feeling herself too much. A pass. Yeah. Shout out she- to Q. What it do? <laughs> can it? Can it? Can it? Can it? Can it? Can it? Do what? Can it? What are you doing, Count it? Feeling money. Count it. Count it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was man. We appreciate you, Squeegee Kid. Been a member for seven months. Says her zesty friend is in her comments blocking. <laughs> yeah. Well, <Money>, yeah. <laughs> We appreciate you, the rogue one coming through today. Says, remind me of the Trevor Boar extortionist broke. I'm familiar. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you, Kim Netter. Gifted one single by choices membership. Thank you, brother, for your support. We appreciate your project, Leroy. He says, respectfully, nobody cares what HQ say <laughs> about dating. <laughs> Appreciate you, Drew Bailey. Says, this is what the Godfather meant by chameleon. Uh, chameleon mercenary. Man. <laughs> so, shout out to Q, what it do. We appreciate you, brother, for coming through, sponsoring the show like you do. This was another long, crazy one. Not as long, but just as crazy. All right, but if you want even longer and crazier, you got to catch the show from last night, which was about over six hours of madness. So I'm going to drop the link in the chat for the people who are not subscribed. Go over, check out the Regal Rumble from last night. Absolute madness. As Gavin Nag said, ain't no going back. Today's modern women, they own this 4B movement. They talking about holding out with the Kudakata to man ceases to exist and they they out here like pinky in the brain and like today we're gonna take over the world pinky we'll get rid of everybody and that's why we at the drizzle drizzle stage hey listen here i'm an old beastly man but hey shout out shout out to the soft brother life do your thing give them hell (laughs) so here we go also shout out to the show sponsors um Rachel media divine photos q what it do saggle 1000 and b tizzle or it's actually bizzle t my apologies bizzle t. <laughs> man shout out to the most supportive the most vicious the most loving the most dramatic <laughs> chat on youtube we appreciate y'all man y'all always supporting y'all consistent with the support we really can't ask for too much more guys seriously it's a lot of channels that ain't getting this kind of support and we are not oblivious to you guys love and support so thank you thank you thank you so with that being said like i said i dropped the link again for the cart before the horse channel head over and subscribe check out the regal rumble from last night and also the other content that's over there. But yeah, last night, Drizzle Drizzle, it got crazy. Drizzle Drizzle, all 2024. Hit the like button and the subscribe button on your way out. And don't hesitate to hit that super chat. Hit the cash app. Join the membership, the gift that keeps on giving. And if you want something you could touch for your hard-earned money, go and stop over at the store. Get yourself some good uh, single buy choices and cart before the horse merch. And if you want that exclusive faux Sachi, you got to jump in the email. This excludes G Honda. <laughs> All right. Also, shout out to uh, Cousin Walker and shout out to Tyrone, um, Rachel, Rachel, and somebody else. 
Some people gear is on the way. Y'all stuff should be there. If not already, it'll probably be there tomorrow. Um, other people, your stuff will be shipped out. Awesome. And your cousin Walker, we still gonna have to have a talk about that C boss, but your gear will be on this way. So yeah, we appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. There we go for sure. We're gonna continue to build this thing as we fly in it, and we appreciate y'all rocking with us. We moving, man. Love, we didn't we didn't uh surpass 16k on the single by choices channel. We moving 20k on the way. Let's go, man. So there you go. Yeah, once we get to 20k, 20k is a good milestone to where we do plan on opening doing some different things up here on the channel. So maybe once we get to 20k, we'll go into the next phase of the carpet foot horse productions. There we go. Start doing uh what can smell some uh consulting on the road you know mr walker dreams of our first ever meetup huh we're gonna be serving beans and bologna you know <laughs> so there we Excited. go all that yeah be on the lookout make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button hitting the like button on the way out and we'll be back up here tuesday night until then i am gavin x i am mr walker and we are carpet foot horse productions a good evening.